Right. Sofa on their way to go. Yeah, I'll go back down. Probably. Just to sit down there. Go be here now. Ooh, I'm first line minutes. Dead and high. Yeah, first line. Zock and Posture. That's a top line. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to know who thought it was a good idea to switch lines. Oh, that's what Chubb. Does Van Reek think that lock goes on? And then he sure is going to play center. Speaking of which, would you like James Van Reems like Game Geese 1000 game jersey? 4000. You think it has 4000 like that? I mean, I made about 1000 controls in the past like, six like, months, but come on. Oh, I'm, my mic's on. I can't talk about my financial situation. Sorry, YouTube, you didn't hear that. Uh. And welcome into the live stream, folks. So oh, welcome to the live stream. Welcome into the live stream, folks. The welcome. Call coming to Brussels. The goalie scores! Frederick scores! Trent Frederick from the circle. And the Bruins regain the lead. It's 3 2. Postrock. Krejci, Zaka scores again! What a pass by the check line! Check mates! McAvoy, he shoots, he scores! To Buck Captain for McAvoy, shooting, scores! So this is the third freaking time in the past 30 seconds we've seen this damn commercial of Dak Prescott talking to bling on a damn mattress, bro. Get that off my TV screen. Hey! Oh, it looks much better on the 1080p. What's going on, everybody? Glad to have all of you here. The Bruins are home tonight to take on the Ottawa Senators at the TD Garden in Boston. Harrison is here. Grant, Kyle, and Soap, I think, are on their way. Grant is going to be here. Kyle and Soap are on their way, I think. Oh, this should be interesting. 
It's the 28, 34, and 4 Ottawa Senators against the 40, 14, and 15 Boston Bruins. How's everybody doing in the chat? Glad to have all of you here tonight, here on this Tuesday night. New computer. It is a Mac, yeah. Let's get into your starting lineups. Presented by Sam. Presented by this Boston Bruins water bottle that Kyle got me for Christmas. On the left, it's Ottawa. It is Shane Pinto Beans, as I like to call him, Brady Kachuk and Drake Batherson, Tim Stutzla, Matt Joseph, and Claude Giroux. Zach, I learned how to pronounce it, Ostopchuk, Ridley Gregg, and Dominic Kubelik, Mike Kostelik, Boris Kachuk, and Parker Kelly. On defense, it is Jake Sanderson and, and uh, Artem Zub, Thomas Shabbat and Eric Brandstrom, Jacob Chikorin and Jacob Bernard Docker with Jonas Corposalo in net for Ottawa. For the Bruins on the right, it is Zaka, Heinen, Pasternak, Coyle, Marshawn, DeBrusque, Geeky, Locko, and Frederick. No, James Van Riemsdyk. He is a healthy scratch. Jesper Volquist, Johnny Beecher, and Justin Brazzo. Don't worry, Beecher will be taking most of the faceoffs tonight. Matt Grizzlick and Charlie McAvoy, Hampus Lindholm and Brandon Carlo, Kevin Shattenkirk and Andrew Peake with Linus Olmark in net for the Bruins tonight. No low rye or Watherspoon. They are healthy scratches. Don't worry. They're fine. They'll be playing on Thursday against the New York Rangers. Oh, my goodness. I will say it. The room looks much better in high definition. Yeah. You have to agree with that, Harrison? Yeah. 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 Kyle and Soph are on, I think are on their way. Is this the first time you're doing uh, a new computer here? Or did you do it back home? Uh, first one here. Oh, okay. Welcome, everybody. Glad you are all with us, spending your Tuesday afternoon with us. We appreciate afternoon? it. Afternoon? It's uh, 7 o'clock. Or night. Well, daylight savings. Whatever. <laughs> Get rid of that. Anyway, glad you're all with us here. Be sure to like, read the pin comment as always. Do you actually have a cold? Jeez. Um, I'm still getting over. You can kind of hear it in my voice, but yeah. And Cooper said, "Harrison, it's not afternoon." I know. It's all right. Um, what else? Let me uh, trying to kill some time here. Feel free to comment away who you got. Make sure you vote in the poll as always. Hey, Sam, nice new camera. Looks great. It's a new laptop and gave me a nice 1080p face cam, so that was very nice. Mm. I'm not sponsored by Audi. No, we are not. Well, you just said it. It's okay. But, uh, yeah, we're excited here. So... It's afternoon somewhere, Harrison. Yes, it is. Well, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. If you know, you know. Oh, well. They're doing the national anthems. We don't do the national anthems anymore. We used to. We used to, but the NHL decided to be a pain in the ass, so no. No comment. Till then, we'll probably but, Yeah. Todd so. Angeli. Todd Angeli singing. Oh, Canada. You know, I'd like to see you do a rendition of Oh, Canada. Every single person in chat would have to donate about ten to fifteen dollars each for that to happen. So that's uh, not so pretty much what I'm telling you. That's not gonna happen. Unless, uh, I was asking you. How, I was asking how do you do the thumbnails for your vids? Uh, I do it all on Canva. Not sponsored by them. <laughs> Canva, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. Um, and it's for free. Yeah. I guess they, they haven't left yet. I guess they're coming over soon. Here comes Grant now. With his Minnesota Viking shirt. Oh, that's changing. Oh, you're, you're gonna put on a jersey? Yeah, okay, good. McAvoy. Here we go. There we go. Chucky. Grant's here. He's gonna put on a jersey. Kyle and Soph have not are are, and are eventually coming are over. Back home. You left all your jerseys at home? Uh, except for Tatum. Brought the Tatum one here. Okay. There uh, we go. There he is, Chucky baby. There he is. Chad, what are your thoughts on his new shoe? Did you ask that question? L. Grant for being late. No, he was here. He I was, was just, here. He I was, was for Kyle and he Soph. 
He was waiting oh, wait, for Kyle and Soph, Soph to come over, but they haven't left yet, I've I guess. Been here. So they, he was here b before the stream started. So don't worry about. He hasn't. He isn't late. So they're just doing the national anthems real quick. I'm gonna do get into my keys to the game real quick. It's quite simple. Number one, win faceoffs. The Bruins actually did a pretty good job of uh, winning faceoffs in the past couple of games. Keep that up. I mean, the Bruins they've done well with Johnny Beecher. Um, at the face-off dot, the Bruins won. Uh, well, actually, they split the face-offs on, on Saturday, which isn't bad for them. And then uh, on Thursday against Montreal, um, the Bruins won 51% of face-offs. So overall, they've been pretty good at the dot. Beecher has been awesome at the face-offs. So just keep doing that. Don't let Ottawa push you around. You're playing. Don't play down to competition again. All right. Don't don't do that. Uh, just. Don't let them push you around. Come out there and, and push them around, all right? And don't blow leads in the third period, for <laughs> Christ's sakes. Please. I'm begging <laughs> on behalf of the entire Bruins fans everywhere worldwide, do not blow a lead in the third period if we get to that point. Please and thank you. XOXO hugs and kisses all Bruins fans ever. Thank you. Okay. That's my TED Talk. I appreciate it. Oh, my God. Wow. That's, uh, that's something. Oh, my goodness. Right. Th thank you to Torbjorn for the $5 super chat. It hasn't popped up on stream yet, but thank you anyway. His message is, let's go, Bruins. Drag the sense tonight, please. Also, rest in peace, pixel version of Friends and Sam. Well, I this we... looks. No, I'm literally just looking at it now for the first time. This is beautiful. Now we gotta embed the music. <laughs> this is to beautiful. The and... I, I have I have tried, and there is no way I can try. To, I can do that right now. So. What? Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm surprised he didn't donate because he wanted you to sing the anthem. <laughs> <laughs> you missed that before you're here. Starting goaltenders for the Senators. It's Jonas Corposalo. He's 15, 20, and four with a three point. Yeah. 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 There it is. Let's go Bruins. Drag the sense tonight, please. Also, R.I.P. Pixel version of Friends and Sam. <laughs> L.A. Night Pop, everyone? Yeah. 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 Oh. Lena Solmark, the <laughs> goaltender for the Bruins tonight. Hey, the Bruins have actually won five of seven games. Congratulations there. Still, out of the winning. Still, still get that one stupid well, overtime Well, they've gotten a point in six of seven games. It's one overtime or shootout uh, loss. I'm not going to sit here and complain. They've been better at that, so that's good. As we are underway, Bruins are in the... Home black jerseys going from the left to the right. Centers in the red whites going from right to left. And that's my cue. Oh, they're here? Ah, yep. Coil. All right, there it go. Kyle and Sophie here. They'll be back up in a second. Linholm. We'll move it ahead. Goes off of uh, Corpus Salo. Jake Sanderson has the puck behind his own net. Hey, they got a guy named Drake. Zoop. No, Jake. Oh. Zoop over oh. to Stutzla. Tim Stutzla across the Bruins line. He clo closes a shot saved by Allmark, and he will hang on. Mm. Yeah. Uh, no, this is not 4K quite yet exotic. I mean, we're almost there. It's practically 4K. It's like a couple of pixels off from 4K. The scoreboard's much better. I made it smaller. With 1080p, everything expanded except the scoreboard. I kept it the same. It's much nicer. Yeah, it's, it's not the screen wide. It's just a, it's in the middle, you know? Yeah, they're showing the replay of Chuck. Face off, one back. Uh, there's a shot and a save by Olmark on a chance for Bernard Docker. Chikrin fan on the pass. Zaka to Heinen. Posternock falls down, and it's going to be an offside. Posternock loss an edge. Mm -hmm. So, 1 0 Phil. Already, the game just started. Philly's already winning? Who are they playing? Oh, they're playing the Maple Leafs. Ha, even better. Mm -hmm. Owen Tippett scoring uh, 19 seconds in. How's it going, Liz and Ashley? Good to see all of you. Hello to every single person watching in the chat and watching at home. How's how's it going? Thank you so much for choosing to spend your Thursday night or Tuesday night, sorry, with us. I said Tuesday. You said Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. I said Thursday night. So we're all wow. over the place. Grizzly for McAvoy. He dumps in across the Ottawa line. Jacob Bernard Docker getting it out to center. Matt Grizzly. <laughs> you have that face on you. <laughs> You're like, sneeze. Hmm. <laughs> no, I did not sneeze. If I sneezed, I'd, well. Wouldn't surprise you guys. I have a cold. Um, here is Grizzlick now. Doesn't sound like it. I kind of do. Grizzlick now off of Jacob Lauko's stick in the zone. Lauko caught something in the uh, the midsection there. Geeky in front. Frederick, what a save by Corpusalo. Rebound in front. It goes across the goal mouth and wide. 
Hey! <laughs> he was covering for you while you were going to get uh, Kyle and Soap. Scram. Scram. <laughs> there is uh, Eric Branster moving it ahead for Dominic Kubelik. There you go. A cup? Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> you're at your sofa and Kyle. You're going to have to stand up. Kyle and Soap, i got to get around. Oh, there is Frederick. Here is Boris Kachuk. A wrister misses wide of the net. Here is Sanderson. If you're getting some Jeez. ASMR on the left ear, you pro we probably will know why. Cheers. Um, cheers as Kyle <laughs> I have just my gave Grant soda. some grape soda. <laughs> okay. Here is Boris Kachuk in front for Kostelik. He couldn't put one home. Back to the line, Sanderson over to Zub. His shot gloved down by Olmark. Well, both of these goaltenders, both Allmark and Swayman, they've kind of traded around poor performances. Of course, Allmark, he was the one to allow five goals against the Islanders, and then Swayman allowing five goals against both the Blues and the Flyers. Mm. And Allmark looked really impressive against Montreal on that overtime. And win, Pittsburgh. So. We were there for yeah, that. Allmark looked good. Oh, he, that was his best Boy, game in a, since the All-Star break, yeah. for sure. Pinto like, kicked out of the draw Pittsburgh. against Beecher. Brady Kachuk will come in and take it. Well, it's uh, nice to see that the goal tanks getting just a little bit more consistent. It's, yeah. It's good. Here's Carlo now. Up ahead for Jesper Bolquist. Nope. Can't get it out. Batherson holds in. To the middle. Nobody there trying to find Shane Pinto. The Bruins are getting a little are getting pushed around in their own zone. What I said not to do. Yeah, Pinto beans, Kyle, yes. <laughs> we may have a lot of jokes over the summer. Kachuk. What a shot there, and it got deflected and went up and out of play. <laughs> Kachuk. Nice. That's awesome. Nice. Sounds like a train. That's nice. Nice. Well done. You got a Tyler to fully home Jets jersey? He just got there, like last week. He's been there for a cup of coffee. Nice, jer n nice job, though. I'm not going to knock people for getting the jerseys. It's just, wow, really? Early? That's early, you know? Hey, I was just telling Sam this to earlier today, I was thinking about getting a Bruins Bertuzzi jersey. Thank God I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Postrock, nice, nice after check there on Shabbat. That would be something. Here is Tim Stutzla. I would have laughed. Here, Stutzla, McAvoy knocked down. He'll get back up and recovers. Claude Giroux out high. Giroux firing, and it's up and out of play. Hey, you might want to lower your voice when he has the puck. We got a certain Flyers fan a room, a uh, few rooms down. Claude come. Giroux has the puck. He'll, he'll come <laughs> bursting in here. Giroux. Did you um, say Claude Giroux? Yeah, buddy. He hasn't been on the Flyers in like two years. <laughs> Three? <laughs> Three. That's right, but he was traded to Florida. Slava Cold Sam, um, besides my voice, no. No, I Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh. No refunds. Sorry, I didn't, you don't get any refunds. <laughs> no. Okay. Coyle kicked out of the draw against yeah. Ostopchuk. <laughs> Marshawn will take the draw. That's a weird ass name. Marshawn wins the draw. <laughs> Brandon Carlo with it. Hockey names. Hockey names 101. Go oh, stop, Chuck. Carlo for Marshawn gets it in the zone off an Ottawa stick. I mean, Artem Zoop is still pretty random for the yeah, Senators. Random. There. Coyle kicks the puck around past Shabbat to get to the to keep it alive. Debrusk, who has had a really good stretch of hockey recently. Coyle now. Who has nine points in seven games? That's DeBrus, by the way. Marshawn can't play the pass from Coyle. Ottawa getting it out. Dominic Kubelik dumps in. Ridley Gregg against Carlo. We'll see if Gregg gets a cross check here against uh, Brandon Carlo, like Morgan Riley gave him. Anyway, here is Ridley Gregg now. <laughs> that was still the dumbest suspension all year. Here, it was. Ugh. Zuba shot got knocked off of Lindholm up and out of play. The greatest name in sports is not even in the NHL. Ray Ray McLeod. Ah, ah, just signed with the no. Falcons the other Mr. day. Fumble, uh, yep. Nope, I have I, I have a response. Greg McKegg, the yes. greatest sports name of all time. Greg McKegg. While we're at it, how about former NHL goaltender Ron Tugnut? Tugnut, that's a good one. I'm sure the chat's gonna give us yeah. all the. Who had a career moments. game against the Bruins, ironically. Shattenkirk's a pretty funny one. Here's Grizzlick now over to McAvoy across the line. McAvoy trying to center it. He can't. Gets tied up there by Pinto. Goes past Justin Brazo. Zub up ahead for Batherson. He'll move it ahead. Batherson for Kachuk. Grizzlick taking it away. Bruins are having a little bit of trouble maintaining the puck here. That's what I'm noticing early. 
Here's Beecher over to McAvoy. Up ahead, Boquist didn't read the pass coming. Batherson over to Brady Kachuk on the left. Kachuk across. Pinto falls down. Grizzly poke checks it away. Morgan Geeky getting it out to center. Bruins are gonna get a, are gonna finish a change. Got caught in a change. Here is Kachuk to the middle for Pinto. Nobody there. Trent Frederick, who had a golden opportunity while you were coming back. Uh, Frederick dumps it in. Geeky against Chikrin behind the Ottawa net. The centers have dominated this puck here so early, and that is not a good sign for the Bruins here early in this game. They, they got to step up over. a little bit. You mentioned don't let them push you over. That's exactly what I was doing, continuing to get back into the attacking zone, and this is not good for the Bruins. They are struggling getting past center. Kostelik tying up Lauko. Lauko taking it away. Trent Frederick across the line. He just plays it in behind the net. Jacob Bernard Docker on it against Geeky. Centers it to no man's land. Frederick holds in at the line. Frederick playing it in past Shattenkirk. Bernard Docker against Geeky. Puck goes off of Parker Kelly. Mark Kostelik moving ahead. Shattenkirk stands up to him. Kachuk tied up there by Peak. Danton Heinen in there as well against Claude Giroux. Pasternak taking it away from Giroux. He gets double team, plays it over to Andrew Peak. There he is. Number 52 for the black and gold. Zaka over Heinen onside. He had nowhere to throw the puck, so he threw it to the middle, and Pasternak was just ahead of the play. Lindholm playing it just ahead of him, and Matt Joseph dumps it back in. Lindholm to Carlo. Pasternak will try to move it ahead. Shabbat tying up Pasternak. Pasternak works it free to Lindholm, getting it around the man. Here's Heinen. Has Zaka to the right. Heinen chips in, got knocked out by a delayed high stick. And they are going to say it's an offside against the Bruins. Not a good start here early. Yikes. Yeah, now shot four to one, getting taken off the puck relentlessly. Ottawa's come up with a great defensive strategy. Bruins really struggling to get past center rice. They've been giving up the puck quite a bit. I mean, look at that <laughs> attempt uh, by Matthew Joseph. That's a giveaway by Lindholm, man. They have been giving up the puck quite a bit already. Not good. Not good. Yeah, not, that's not something that I would say. This, this is what makes me worried about the Bruins, is that they play great against these fantastic teams, like the Leafs, like uh, Pittsburgh. Well, Pittsburgh's not great anymore, but they're still an above 500 team. And then they struggle against teams like Montreal last Thursday and Ottawa tonight. I don't get why we get in this mindset of we have to play down to competition. Right. It's the worst habit to get into if you're a sports team. As I said, the keys to the game, win face-offs. The Bruins have done that. They've won five of seven face-offs to start the game. But don't let Ottawa push you around. Um, they have pushed you around. Uh, don't blow leads in the third period. That would be a good one. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, please, don't do that. Maybe Why did it say the Bruins have an empty net? <laughs> Last I checked, all Mark's still in there. What's going on, edited? <clears throat> Yeah, they're in a TV timeout. So, mm. Another funny hockey name, Flames legend Hawken Lube. <laughs> Don't know if I've heard of him. Uh, I have not either. Mm. Oh, I could. Jamie Lungbrunner. That's a funny oh, one. Oh, Jamie Langenbrunner. Langenbrunner. That's a good one. Danny DeKaiser. Mm. That's a random one. Uh, <laughs> funny hockey names. All right. Um, I mean, for obvious reasons... Uh, I think Jacob Slavin is kind of interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a, a great name, I should say. That's not a great name. Oh, my goodness. Uh, he probably got bullied in school. Oh. Poor guy. I mean, there are some interesting ones out there. Clutterbuck. We make, we Cal make Clutterbuck. Clutterbuck. Yep, that's a good one. Um, Sebastian Aho. Which one? Both of them. <laughs> Yep. The all-star or the irrelevant seventh-pairing defenseman? <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Let's see. What other weird names? Let's see. This one. Bad comment. Yeah. <laughs> Any predictions on March Madness? St. Peter's will beat Tennessee. The 15th seed will upset the 2 seed. Bank on it. How about Weesey Rabbit? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. But yeah, I don't I don't pay attention to college basketball until UConn. March Madness. I guess I'd go for UConn for Pro Kyle. Probably I think UConn's probably going to go back to March. That would be cool. 
back to back. They're gonna they're gonna repeat. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll knock on one for you, Kyle. Since it, since it's their revenge, it's their revenge tour, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> there is a delay. The Zamboni doors. Something's up with it. The Zam the Zamboni doors. There is something wrong. They're not showing it to us. They're not showing it to us at this point. Oh, there we go. What is happening? I'm confused. Confused for something? No. There is an issue with the Zamboni door. Will the Zamboni door <laughs> not? This is something. I've I, never seen this. Will the Zamboni door not shut? What is going on? Or they're talking about this? What are they reviewing? What is going on oh, here? Now they're reviewing something. What is going on? The refs put on the headset. No. Who is at the door? Please. Let's get the hell out of me. That was a very oh, aggressive knock. We got a technician coming out on the ice. Hey, we got the ding dong ditch. Little did they know the door was unlocked. Well, yeah, little did they know they can just come walk right. They're 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 fixing the away bench door. Oh. Nice. What <laughs> the hell? <laughs> And that needs to be reviewed. No, they were kind of figuring out from the probably from the league what to do. They're fixing so the one near the center line. They're fixing the door. There must be an issue with it shutting. I noticed it. It wasn't shut all the way. Brady Kachuk was pointing it out to the ref. It wasn't shut all the way. This is a brutal schedule. Rangers, Tonight's Flyers, the only softy. Rangers, Rangers, Flyers, Panthers, Lightning, Capitals. Good God! All that. five teams are currently in a playoff spot. Oh God! Lord Almighty! Need to win this game. They need to win probably three of those five games. I certainly think. Th I mean, they're gonna be. Philly. All right, they're gonna. We're gonna play again. Finally, Good. Geeky against uh, Ostopchuk. Oh, Geeky that was wins a the draw. Clean faceoff win. Grizzlick whips it in behind the net. Ridley Gregg can't play it cleanly. Lauko digging it free. Back to McAvoy. He shot his shot, knocked down, save in front, scramble, and Chikrin got it. <clears throat> and here's Ostop took out to center. He dumps in. Matt Grizzlick for Trent Frederick. He'll play it up for Morgan Geeky on the left. Geeky takes the puck on the right side, and Geeky dumps it in deep. Bernard Docker, first of the puck, playing it around Geeky, knocking into him. Lauko taking it from Greg. Uh, Kubalik trying to stick lift. Lindholm, nice keep in. Ooh. Puck comes out to center off a skate of Kubalik and Frederick has it for Carlo. Playing it cross corner. Marshawn against Bernard Docker. Bruins got the second line out there. Play it around here is Chikrin, and they'll control. Bruins need to get some more pressure. Take shots, it's not a bad thing to take shots here. Pinto, for Kachuk trying to center it, pass broken up. Website app to use the, th the thumbnail. FBI, I already said it, it's, th it's Canva. Use Canva. CA. C A N V A dot C O M. I didn't even know Canva existed until the second semester of last year. Yeah. As the puck goes up and out of play. Good for you, Kyle. <laughs> His two minute workout video is back from the quarantine era, which was four years ago, by the way. Good lord. What the? Where did time go? Where the hell did time go? That means it's going to be four years this year that the Bruins have last to win a playoff series because it was that Washington series. Well, it's 2021. Oh, they, right. So it was no, only next I'm year. No, I'm confusing that in Carolina. Right. Yeah. Coil kicked out of the draw Never against mind. Pinto. They'll have Marshawn come in and take it at center ice. Pinto wins the draw very cleanly. What's up, Josh? How's it going? Here is Sanderson over to Zub. Played up off, the, off a stick in the zone of Batherson. Carlo. Puck whipped up, and it's going to be an icing here against Boston because that was Lindholm who shot it down. Oh, Miro Shatan? Yeah, we were just talking about him two Miro nights ago. Miro the hero! Two nights ago. We were watching uh, the Bruins Sabres Game 6 highlights from 2010. We were watching that the other night. Uh... And we were watching, well, I watched Game 4. I watched. On, I went on a 2010, 2011, 2012 binge. 2012? Like, what, our three wins against Washington? Well, I watched all, like, <laughs> like, the regular season highlights. Oh, fair enough. I'm like... Ugh, I do not want to remember that Washington series. There's another issue. Oh, oh. God. The stanchion now in the far left corner. Are we kidding me? What is going on here? There's another stoppage. Oh, 
What the hell is going on here, man? They're going to fix the stitch. Jeez. Who were, who were the ones putting together the garden ice tonight? Good God. They're a bunch of buffoons, I guess. Jeez. <laughs> That's two issues. Man, first the, the door not closing. And now the stanchion's not on the right. Is not, is not on correctly. In the meantime, I wanted to show you guys something very cool. This was my flip parlay on Sunday. I did, well, it's not going to come no, you, up. No, yeah, yeah, you I did it. all of the NHL games, betted six out of seven correctly. The Red Wings lost to the Penguins. $2 to win 18 Oh, I came so close. So close. Yeah. But the freaking Penguins had to beat the Red Wings, and I was so mad. I literally just checked it today for, like, craps and gigs, and just knowing I was short by one game just mm -hmm. broke my heart. <clears throat> That's a funny one. Oh, my God. They're I, still I fixing it. the Red Wings. It They're is a three-way tie for the Central Division lead. Winnipeg, Colorado, Welcome and Dallas. Welcome to cinema. By the way, Dallas is winning that. They could. You trust the best goalie? Ottinger. And that's Jake Ottinger. Well, Ottinger, Hellebuck. I know, Hellebuck's and, better statistically. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> we're going to play hockey again. Hopefully, maybe, just maybe, we're not going to have a... We are eight minutes into this game, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. Bruins win the draw. Lindholm off a stick of Marshawn out to center. Batherson playing ahead. Lindholm taking it back. Jake Dabrowski the middle. And he dumps in again. Off a of stanchion. Sanderson gets a round coil. Debrusque. What are they dumping in for so much? They have never crossed the line normally, not once tonight. They have dumped in every time they've had the puck. Oh, Claude Julien just wanted to make a special guest appearance tonight. Oh my god, he already made that a couple weeks ago. Here is Lindholm <laughs> now with Carlo on the right. Lindholm in his own end. The Bruins are in no rush for no reason. They can literally be winning 2 nothing if they actually try playing hockey. Here we go. Pasternak playing it to the middle. Zaka can't play it. He gets the puck back. Pasternak Across, trying to find McAvoy. Pass broken up. Zaka gets there. In front, nobody there. Grizzlick left point. His shot. Score! Matt Grizzlick from the blue line. It might have been tipped. But the Bruins have the lead. Pasternak may have tipped that. one nothing Bruins here. We scored. Let's see. Did, I can't tell from that angle. Their Postrock celebrated like he did, and he did. He did. What's that now? David Postrock with the deflection, and it's one nothing. That is his forty second. I think so. So the Bruins have a one nothing lead on the Pasternak goal. Uh, how Whoa. are they winning this Corpus game? Corpusalo <laughs> turned it over. Beecher tied up. He got knocked down. Brazo in there. Trying to take it free from Chikrin's skate. Beecher did. He whips it back to the line. Peek over. Shattenkirk whips it wide. Here is <laughs> Boquist now. Trying to play it to the back to the line. Peek can't play it. Went off Boris Kachuk. It's a foot race. Omar comes oh, 75 God. feet out of his net and plays it over to Shattenkirk, and he'll dump in. That's Postronk's 42nd from Grizzlick and Zaka at 827. Thank you for the official scoring on that. What is the crime's always on top of that, so thank you for that. <clears throat> I don't get how we are in the lead. We have been getting thoroughly manhandled in time of possession. Really? Greg in front. Grizzlick guiding it aside. <laughs> well, hockey's weird. Mm -hmm. Lauko can't get the puck out. Here is uh, McAvoy tied up there by Ostopchuk. Ostopchuk stopped McAvoy. Geeky over to Grizzlick. He'll move it ahead. He'll find Jacob Lauko on a race. Lauko gets the puck against Sanderson. Sanderson plays it around. Zub for Ridley Gregg. Frederick decks Gregg with a big hit. Here's Man. Ostopchuk. Clean as day. That was a very clean hit. Marshawn couldn't play it. Ostopchuk sick lifted by Geeky. Geeky now. Hampus Lindholm across the line. Marshawn on the right side. Marshawn to the front. Looking for, for an option as a back pass. He plays it in down low. Here is Lindholm. Lindholm now for DeBrusque. Tied up there by Eric Brandstrom. Past Thomas Shabbat. 
played up. Carlo holding it at the line. Puts it in back in deep. Brandstrom around. Coyle steps up to the, uh, and puts it back into the corner. He has no idea where it is, but it's underneath him the whole time. Puck jammed to Marshawn. Lindholm, his shot missing the net that time. Lindholm hasn't scored in months, by the way. Coyle is tackled by Brandstrom. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> Lindholm has only has one goal this season, and it happened in November. Shane Pinto to the net, and Carlo back checks in a stick lift, and it's clean. They're not going to call him for slashing. Surprise. Here's DeBrus now. Trying to play it to Coyle. Goes off Brady Kachuk sticking back in. Here is Carlo playing it around. Coyle looking. He'll play it up ice. Heinen with it against Matt Joseph. Heinen dumps in. There is a loose glove. Posternock finishing his check against Sanderson. There's a glove just laying there on the ice. Here is Grizzlick now. Pass Zaka. Turnover. Posternock's got a breakaway. He'll look for two. He's got it. Posternock scores again. Bruins lead two to nothing. Posternock his second of the period. His second goal in like five minutes. Great heads up awareness right there. Well, that was something. I mean, this is sensational. The way he reads the puck, goes in, breakaway, backhand, forehand. Off the post and in. Off the post and in. Corpus Al got a piece of it. I mean, this is easy reads. Green eggs in hand by David Pasternak. And look Man. at that. Beautiful move, gets by the D. Tremendous job to make it two zip. That was a good goal for him too. We have a penalty uh, here. The offense woke oh, it's up an, It's an offside, I think. Gonna be offside. He's on hat trick watch, he's already got two. I have Pasternak's jersey on right now. Maybe I'm doing, maybe I made the right decision by putting his jersey on. He's still on the wall. There he yes, is, right above still Soap's on the head. Wall. So, so is Swayman. We Sam, ain't changing the, uh, nothing. Well, I'll probably put McAvoy in. Oh, up, that's back but... at the house. I'll get that back. I'm going home next weekend for Easter, so when I come back, I'll bring back. Oh, and you guys are going to love the jersey I'm bringing back. Oh, I Easter know weekend. a jersey you're bringing you back. Know, if you it? saw my Instagram last weekend, you know. But if you don't, <laughs> oh, boy, I I'm going to debut it for game one of the playoffs. What I think it? that's the uh, plan. Well, it's like you can pass it like, Have I seen it? I think so. I hashtag, to you. hashtag GoFundMe so I can go get a jersey. Oh hashtag GoFundMe. <laughs> oh, you're wearing a nice Bruins t-shirt. Yeah, you, you have a Tukaraz t-shirt on. That is respected here. Yeah. Uh, Pasternak uh, unassisted. <laughs> yeah, I know. But we, I have my own personal fear, feelings about Rask, but you're wearing a Bruins jersey we, and he was... We love Rask, like, until we don't. <laughs> until we didn't. <laughs> 2021 really made me think really it, it made me depends, change my opinion on him it depends on the what we talking about like if we talk in like 2014 to like 2018 rask love the guy we talk in like 2019 or after that's where i start to get a little well so the bruins uh, have have uh have actually done well here they have won two-thirds of face-offs to start the game tonight what did i say is the keys of the game win face-offs you call up Johnny Beecher to win face-offs, and he has done that for you. You're winning two out of three, two out of every three face-offs, you're gonna win hockey games. If you keep playing it like that, you're gonna win. Beecher is only gonna keep, is only gonna help you out in the postseason when face-offs are more and more crucial as we keep going on in the later parts of the season, especially since the Bruins need to win the next five games to clinch a playoff spot. <gasps> I said the thing. Playoff spot. Dun dun dun. All right, Mister. Way to go. You just jinxed it. Well, they need ten more points. Uh, you, you know that uh, Detroit's about to go on that twenty-game winning streak and just yeah. knock us off our porch. Right? I'm, re I'm ready for it. <laughs> Pasternak is fourth in the NHL with 43, only three goals behind Zach Hyman of the Edmonton Oilers. So, and the Bruins won the faceoff again. Beecher, like I just said, wins another faceoff. He is elite. Beecher knows how to win faceoffs. He has the best uh, faceoff percentage among among active rookies this season. That's sick. Good so here's Andrew Peak. He fires one. It's knocked down. I like that aggression from Peak. That's good. Beecher keeping it alive. Nice job getting it to Bolquist. Why do we ever send this guy down? I have no idea why. You sure keep him Boris up. Kachuk has a break here. He might have Parker Kelly and Shattenkirk. 
cutting it off. Playing it around. Here is Kostelik back to Brandstrom and the puck comes out. <clears throat> and it comes all the way back down into the Ottawa end. Here is Eric Brandstrom up to center. Getting a round defender. Brandstrom a shot saved by Olmark. Good stop on him. Geeky will lift it out. Yeah, Olmark's playing tonight, yeah. Who has been the better of the two goaltenders in the past couple weeks? Here is Grizzlick for Frederick. Yeah, but they, they, they change like the wind direction, so. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Geeky getting around Shabbat, knocked down from his, from his hands and knees, still trying to whack the puck to the middle. Kachuk gets it out to center. Here is uh, Matt Grizzlick over to Charlie McAvoy, and he dumps in the zone. Who scored? Postrox got both goals. We got about seven minutes to go in the first period, so. Pinto up ahead. Grizzlick knocked down. Or sorry, that's Lindholm, I bet. He got knocked down. Here is uh, Frederick for Morgan Geeky. The third line out there with Marshawn instead of Lauko. That's strange. I think they're at the end of a shift. Geeky goes in the zone. Uh, Marshawn couldn't touch it. It was going to be offsides. Yep. Here is Chikrin over to Jacob Bernard Docker. Goes off of... Uh, it's a two-word last name. Bernard Dash Docker. Has the puck to flex up and out of play. What? I just pinched myself with my Ouch. Jaguars bracelet. <laughs> and from one gasp to the <gasps> next. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I keep, oh, again. I keep up for you. You know, it's funny. I, I, too, keep up. I too keep on forgetting about it. So tomorrow I will text you no, to bring I'm it no over. Foul. I've, I've I've seen it. You'll like it. Here's Andrew Peak. I promise. I've been waiting this long. Nah. Here, but up ahead, here's Marshawn. <laughs> Marshawn can't get can't get around Artem Zub. Marshawn gets a stick knocked out of his hands. DeBrus takes it away and trying to center it for Coyle. He can't. Here is Zub. Coyle, who had a two-goal night against the Flyers on Saturday. Kubelik for Ostop took a shot, and it misses the net that time. Shabbat closed off by DeBrus. Shattenkirk past Marshawn. Kept in by Ostopchuk. Over to Brady Kachuk. A shot, missing the net that time. Here is Brandstrom now in the left corner. Back to Shabbat, center point. Here is Brandstrom left side. Shabbat ready for a one-timer. Far side, across. Pass broken up by Shattenkirk. He'll spray Marshawn. He'll have Coyle coming if he hurries. Marshawn one on three. Kind of curl and drag, and that was just dumb because that was a turnover. <laughs> Waiting to happen with Marshawn's hands in 2024. And now, uh, Carlo for Lindholm playing it around. Drake Batherson takes it away. Brady Kachuk stick lifted by Pasternak and Zaka. Bernard Docker a shot knocked down. Heinen gets the puck. He'll move it ahead. Heinen. Over, Pasternak dropping it for Hampus. Lindholm to the front. Saved by Corpusalo on the drop feed to Lindholm. Oh, wow. Zaka. Filthy pass from Pasternak. That, I did not see that coming at all. I thought he was going to pass it to Zaka, to be honest. Zaka keeping it alive. Oh, nice Heinen pass. shot missing wide. Heinen's been red hot recently. I love it. Here's His Pasternak. Is red hot right now. I Back love to Carlo. This. Carlo Lindholm from the left side. Carlo with some space. Carlo Pasternak looking for the first period hat trick. Corpusalo denies him. Ooh, this offense is this is on good. Fire right now. And you know what's funny? They started off slow the first nine minutes, but woohoo! They it, have been ramped up ever since. 180, this ladies awesome. and gentlemen. They went. They pulled a 180. They are out shooting Ottawa seven to five right now. They've won 57% of faceoffs. They're hitting about even with Ottawa. They have blocked shots. Probably two of Andrew Peak, let's be honest. Peaks. I said this stat on stream the other night, the uh, during the um the trade deadline. Andrew Peak. He's peaking right now. Well, maybe he might be. Because he is bef uh in the since the past three seasons of players who've played in the last three seasons, Andrew Peak is sixth in the NHL in most blocks per 60 minutes of play. That's kind of insane, right, Grant? Mm -hmm. And then he's 35th in hits per 60 minutes. For 2.75 million, that's not that bad. He averages six blocks a game and seven hits a game. Mm -hmm. why, why am I, I mean, why was I complaining that we, we didn't trade anybody? We literally got Andrew Peak who is leading some very def 
important defensive statistics down the stretch. And he's looked good tonight. He's looked good ever since he's been in the lineup, so I'm not complaining about that. <clears throat> so, other scores around the league. The Blue Jackets, surprisingly, have a 2-0 lead on the Red Wings in the first period. Surprisingly, Zach the has been awful. Zach Warinski and Alex Texier scoring for Columbus there. The Devils lead the Penguins 1-0 in the first. Dawson Mercer scoring there, a battle of two dwindling teams. Jets and Rangers scoreless in the first. The Leafs are down 1-0 to the Flyers. Owen Tippett scoring not even 20 seconds in. Hurricanes and Islanders, that's a big game. Scoreless in the first. Sharks and Predators at 8. Avalanche and Blues at 8. Ca Canadians and Oilers at 9. Wild and Ducks at 10. Blackhawks and Kings at 10. Sabres and Canucks at 10. Lightning and Golden Knights at 10. That's going to be a good game. So we put on uh, Lightning Golden Knights after? Lightning Golden Knights or Blackhawks Kings, your choice. Oh, my goodness. What do you think I'm going to pick? Lightning, Lightning Golden Knights? Yes! Okay. Cool. I, I know we like the Kings, but Zaka, come on, yeah, the Blackhawks I'm... suck. <laughs> They're, yeah, hey, well, that's Taylor fair. Hall ain't even playing. Yeah, fair enough. Here's Stutzla. Oh, Giroux to the front, <laughs> missing wide. Heinen gets it away. Zaka deflects it to Pasternak. McAvoy will lead the rush. He tried to. He couldn't, though. He got sidestepped by Matthew Joseph. Heinen on the four check. Zub over. Here is Stutzla in the middle. Stutzla trying to find a hole. He finds Giroux. For Stutzla in front, McAvoy lifts his stick. Matthew Joseph back to Sanderson. Sanderson to the front. Knocked down. Saves Stutzla in front. Zaka knocking it away. Pasternak lifting a stick to get it out to center. Zub, nice little chip feed to Matt Joseph, who plays it in deep. Omar coming out of his net to playing it behind to Shattenkirk. Shattenkirk with it. <laughs> Every time. Here is McAvoy now. <laughs> Off the ice. Playing it out. Like quick. Yeah, that's good. 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 It doesn't need to be prolonged. Here is, it's not Yankees Red Sox, you know? They went three hours for a spring training game as the puck went up and out of play. We should rename the Ottawa Senators to Ottawa Missing the Net Senators. Can we, like, not roast them before we set off a ticking time bomb? I mean, come on, people. <laughs> the, ah! the Otters. The Erie Lake Otters. The, the, the team Connor McDavid played for in junior hockey. The Erie Otters, guys. <laughs> there well, we go. Oh, he, they're, like, they're, they're a junior-level hockey team, for those I, who are wondering. I, I never Here's thought Beecher. I'd mention them on stream. Me neither. <laughs> Beecher against uh, Costello. Like, I love like I'm talking about a player's history. Oh, he played for the Erie Otters in his junior league. But other than that... No. <laughs> I never thought I'd bring up the Ottawa 67s on stream, but here I am. Here is Bolquist. Up to center. Never say never. Bro, the Calgary right. Hitman. Justin once. Brazo. Yeah, well. Travis Sandheim played there. That's why. Yeah. I talked about a lot of teams. Sens are basically a junior team. That's wild. Here is Drake Batherson. They literally had two All Stars. <laughs> here is Marshawn. Gets it out past Shane Pinto. Jacob Chikrin dumps in. Around the net. Shot their 6-5 Bruins here with three minutes to go in the period. Lindholm to Carlo. Marchand. Hampus Lindholm. Nice feed to Coyle. Good breakout. Coyle chipped it to himself. Coyle in front. Goes off Corpus Salo and wide. Lindholm pokes it into DeBrusque, who's tied up there by Bernard Docker. Coyle in there as well. He digs it free. Coyle back to Lindholm. Into the front. Knocked down. Puck goes past Marshawn. Carlo rotating. Right side. To the front. It goes wide. Bernard Docker with it. Playing it to Chikrin. <clears throat> Here is Chikrin now. He'll play it up. Here is Brady Kachuk with 2.20 to go in the first. Stutzler getting around Frederick. He dances back. And uh, here is Sanderson with it. Puck played out. Lauko keeping it in. Geeky. Trent Frederick. Backhands it in deep behind the net. Geeky against Giroux. Goes off a stick. Geek Frederick couldn't quite gather himself. McAvoy with it. Frederick. What? Oh, okay. Tim Stutzla spin around a backhand move. Grizzlick says no thank you and takes down Stutzla. Why the only guy he can take down? Well, it's small. <laughs> Here's McAvoy off of Frederick in the zone. Goes around a couple of defenders. Geeky with Frederick in the middle. Frederick tips it over the net. In front, he whips it to no man's land. Shattenkirk wow. and Peek were in the middle of a change. 
Oh, man. Frederick had a great opportunity in front. Here is Shattenkirk with a minute 25 to go in the period. Shattenkirk off of Andrew Peak. Icing is the call as he wasn't across the red line. Haven't seen a shot by Ottawa in a while because we there hasn't been. This little play by Charlie Coyle right here, Grant. Coyle chipped to himself. He's trying to send it up for DeBrusque in front. And, and then look at this play. Nice deflection by Lauko. Geeky, the good centering feed to Trent Frederick in front. Shots on goal are 8-5 Bruins. They were 5-4 Bruins, at, uh, Senators at one point. So that was interesting. The Bruins have seven sh chances on eight shots. That's pretty impressive, to be honest. Doesn't feel like that, though. Yeah, well. well they're, they're winning, so I'm not surprised. Well, now I feel fine. The first, like, eight minutes I wasn't feeling good. But now I'm Heinen. feeling good. Uh-oh, two on one if they hurry, or two on two. Pasternak looking for that first period hat trick. He tried to whip it to the middle. Shabbat knocks it down. Aaron... Uh, Eric Brackstrom, Brandstrom, sorry, for uh, Shabbat for Ridley Gregg. Across, Heinen breaks up that pass. Lindholm. The trying giveaways to... are still a concern, though. Yeah, that's for sure. They had a brutal turnover the other night at the, as Parker Kelly couldn't get it back to Chikrin cleanly with 35 seconds to go in the first period. So if you can do your segment of uh, the Bruins' outfits, because they did post them, and there are a couple of interesting ones. <clears throat> Marshawn against Chikrin. Here is Boris Kachuk for Bernard Docker. Chikrin back for Parker Kelly. He dumps in with 15 seconds to go. Lindholm regathers. Over to Carlo with 10 seconds. Going to go on the first. The Bruins will probably have one more rush here if they push it. Carlo for Coyle. He backhands in. Overall, a interesting start, but they got a two-goal lead through one. 20 minutes in the books. The Bruins lead 2-0 through one. Pasternak with both goals. Let's hope there's no uh, technical difficulties. What do you mean? The uh, the net and then the. Well, let's hope there's no on ice difficulties. Yes, not the stream. Yeah, there won't be any. I, there shouldn't be any stream difficulties. I mean, let's hope not. The only thing that shit the bed is the Wi-Fi. Brand new damn laptop. The only thing that can uh. shit the bed is the Wi-Fi. So. What you watching? What are you watching back there? Watching Cornell, Ohio State, and someone I played when I was ten years old in the basketball championship. I played against a guy who's on Cornell now. He went to the same town as me. Huh. I, played against the I knew this because we went to go see Cornell last year when Boston College won. He's playing right now. He just had an offensive foul. So. Damn. Kind of unfortunate. I like watching. Hey, at least he's getting TV time. Hey. What's he on ESPN? Yeah. All right, let me uh, pull up uh, Bruins Twitter so I can see the um, the outfits because there are some interesting ones. All right, see if I can find them. Here we go. All right. Okay. Poshnok looks like he's about to attend a freaking office meeting. <laughs> Uh-oh, you said? Uh-oh. I don't know. I'm not a fan of Pasta's look. Let's see here. All right, so if you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Here, I'm sharing the screen. It's going to look stretch -wise. Sorry, guys. David Pasternak. She's looks like, like eh. he's walking into a meeting. Am I not wrong? He looks like he's going to a funeral. Oh, oh my well. God. Yeah, the senator's funeral. Yeah. Oh. Well, he's got two goals tonight. So. Yeah. <laughs> you All dressed right. for the occasion? Right. Question mark. <laughs> I'll respond to this guy. Oh, good. Does Pasta the King of first goal score score the first goal? Well, he did. LOL. <laughs> anyway. There we go. Uh, Hampus Lindholm. Oh, he looks nice. His new thing is blue. Blue. So he like blue. always wears blue, but his pal's favorite is blue. That's my, that's my favorite color. Blue equals Seahawks. Oh, God. <laughs> so what the hell? All right. <laughs> Kiss ass. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Lena Solmark with the... He looks... You look oh. like Zach from last night. 
He oh yeah, no. he looks old. Old man, look at his pocket square. He looks old. Now that looks like he's attending a funeral. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he's going to the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, that yes. too. Yes. That's funny. Brad Marchand. Okay, the smile is doing everything. You don't need a good outfit when you smile like that. And it's not that great of an outfit. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. Smile that'll light up. Oh, someone responded. Let's see. Rocking the oh, he liked it. Okay. Rocking the blue tie, though. I, I think I Instagram, there were some different ones. We pull up their Instagram. Oh, yeah. Like why that. do you... Uh, Instagram doesn't... You, the, you Instagram, you suck. You know that? Uh, yes, they do. I've not been able to like post for a whole week. You suck. Hold on, I'll pull it up on my phone and I'll show stream, then I'll show you so. Hold on. Stream, do we like my dyed hair over Oh yeah, how does so Soph dyed her hair over spring break. What are our thoughts on a scale of one to ten? Uh oh. Well not not a scale of one to ten, but like how <laughs> what are our thoughts on it? I think I liked it. I give it a thumbs up. Kyle, like I'm it. you you yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Oh, here we go. Danton Heinen. His pants are so tight. <laughs> his pants are tight. Oh, and he's wearing a beanie. You said no beanie. I didn't know there was a beanie. There's a beanie, guys. That's terrible. But the brown, I like the brown. Browns classy. He looks classy. Yeah. Just Let's see the other other ones. Oh, that's the only other different one. My bad. They didn't do a lot of of them. I know there was a Twitter video. Let me see if there's any different ones. Can you watch the rock promo over there, buddy? Yeah. Harrison is jamming out to some Dwayne trash talk. Mm. What the what hell the is hell? this music? This Please stay on for once. You didn't <laughs> stay. It's not connecting. Is it dead? Dead. Duh. I charged it last, uh, literally the other night. Last, literally. Uh, they last a while. You need to borrow mine? I don't even know where the hell I put mine, but I could look There we go. It. Good God. Wait a <laughs> All right. Kevin Shattenkirk. Here, I'll show you guys first. He liked my story. Who? Kevon Wallace. He liked it. Oh, that's dope. I don't know why. Good for that guy. I don't know why. I really don't know why, but the beanie works with that. <laughs> I really don't know why times three. <laughs> <laughs> the beanie works with the outfit. The beanie works. Soph approved of a beanie in I 2024. Wow, I'm surprised. I never did in 2023, just so you all know. Okay. Anyway, um, you let's know. see here. Who are you? You're Andrew Peak on the on the top. Oh, his first outfit look. Hmm. I'll show you it. I'll it's show you. It's a scally cap. I know uh, it's a beanie. It's it's a beanie. And then I don't know who's on the bottom. Who's on the bottom? Who's that? Is that Brazo? I'm yes. Even, yeah. It's yeah, okay. It so it's looks Peak. Like Brazo. Peak and Brazo. So here's Peak, and then here's Brazo. They're, let me just say this: their outfits were so insignificant that they put them together. Well, okay then. Oh my God, you're gonna approve of Jeremy Swayman's outfits. We got uh, Brandon Carlo on the top, Jeremy Swayman in the middle, and then Jesper Boquist in the bottom. You're gonna approve of Swayman's outfit in the middle. <gasps> he's wearing the hat! Oh my God, he's the best day ever. Look at the beanie birds. He's made, Sway Slade. Oh boy. Sway Slade. Sway Slade. Atta okay. boy. Then yeah. Then we have the little beanie queen. It's not bad. Their outfits aren't bad. Just beanies are terrible and we know this. Beanies are terrible and they just know that. a beanie in a suit doesn't work. They try. Oh, Matt Grizzlick. Matt Grizzlick on the right. Heinen's already happened. Grizzlick. I'm not even gonna say what it looked like. Just Grizzlick, guys. Ooh. He, it must be cold out. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, we already ranked Marshawn. Alright. What is... 
I, they, were, they were doing a video. <laughs> sorry, Harrison. I'm sorry. It's like a beat. Yeah, I know it is. They, they did a video thing. Anyway. The beat was horrible. Shocker. Eh, well. So. Yeah, first period. Bruins looked pretty good. Pretty good. Pasternak looked great. You could say that. <laughs> but. Anyway, what? Who's texting me? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> do we have time for a grid? Want to do a grid? We haven't, yes. we haven't, we haven't played immaculate grids on this stream in a long Whoa, time. Oh, it's time. Is it time? All right. And who? Oh, okay. Let me see. Uh, what's it called? Puck Doku. That's what it's called. I even forgot what it's called. I haven't played this in so long. All right. So here yes. we go. Kings and Jets, Grant. Gabe Velarde, right? Yes. Yeah. Gabe Velarde. Let's see. Kings and Coyotes. Troy Stetcher? Sean Dersey. Or Sean Dersey. Another defenseman. There we go. Kings and Islanders. This one. Exactly. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say Yarrow Halak, but he never played for the Kings. Um, damn, Kings and Islanders. This is Ooh, a weird one. Ooh, this is a toughie. Chat, you guys can help me out here. Ooh. You can help us out, chat. If you're not, if you're, if we're we blanking stumped. out. We're stumped. Kings and Islanders. This what? shouldn't stump me. There's, there's somebody recently. Who played for Pavilion both teams? Pavilion never played for the Kings. No. Uh, I know he's hopped around, but no. No. What a Halak never did. Oh. Mm. Kings and Islanders. Ooh. Mm. This is so weird because like they're two teams you wouldn't think would go from one to the other, right? Right. <laughs> oh my God, Thomas Hickey. Oh! He was a Manchester Monarch. Yeah, Thomas he was. Hickey. There it is. There it is. Hey, no. no. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid game. Brian Campbell. That's what it is. Uh, uh. Screw you, game. Screw you, game. That. No. Oh no. Yeah, I was about to say. I remember Brian Campbell playing on like the Panthers. Avalanche. All right, we're off to the next one. Screw this game. This game, that's stupid. <laughs> Carolina <laughs> and San Jose. Patrick Marlowe for his two days he was there. I'm kidding. Don't actually. They won't count it. He never okay. played a game okay. for them. <laughs> um, Brent Burns. That's yeah, a basic Brent answer. Burns. Brian Who cares? Now they're both North Carolina. Uh, Lightning Hurricanes. Ian Cole. Random one. Yep, that's random. Ian Cole. A first round draft pick for Carolina. I mean, you could go Eric Stahl, you could go Jeff Skinner. I'm going to go Eric Stahl. Well, Eric Stahl's going to probably be the highest answer. Yeah, only 19%. Eh, eh, not bad. Minnesota and San Jose. Oh, I could have done Brent Burns for this one. Could have. Did Nick Benino ever play for the Wild? I don't remember. That's a good Michael Granlund. Oh, Michael Granlund. There we we'll go. We'll play uh, Hurdle during the second intermission. We'll bring that back. Wild and Lightning. Can I say the UMass Lowell kid, Dwayne Rollison? I was thinking yeah. Zach Bogosian. Well, but... you could do Zach Bogosian, too. <laughs> Dwayne Rollison. That's a. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's Wild first-round draft pick. Kirill Kaprizov was a fifth-round pick. Matthew Dumba, I know for a fact, was a first. Yes. I'm not confident about anyone else. What are they drawing? Are they drawing on the screen? Oh, they have a telestrator. They can draw <laughs> on the screen. Do that for hockey, do it for football, and they do it for basketball. Toronto and San Jose. Oh, can we say it? One, two, three. Three. Jumbo Joe. I was gonna say Patrick Marlowe, but uh, you Joe know, Thornton. That, that works too. <laughs> Joe Thornton. Either a good one. or. <laughs> Maple Leafs Lightning. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Wait, Zach Bogosian for this one. Oh, Zach Bogosian. <laughs> Zach Bogosian uh, for this one. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. There Toronto first go. round draft pick, Austin Matthews. Uh, no, we could come up. Dude, do Marner. No, he wasn't a first round pick. Was he? No. Oh, I thought he was a first. Look it up. Maybe not. Whatever. I'll look it up. Mitch Mar- Mitchell Marner. Mitchell Marner. <laughs> I love calling him Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Mitch the bitch Marner. I do. Yes, because um, he is one. Uh, he was four. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, my bad. He was fourth overall. My bad. Yeah, I was about to say. My he bad. Played I the, thought he I, played for the London Knights. The, there's another irrelevant OHL yeah. team we named today. <laughs> Erie and London. What's next? The Oshawa Generals. Oh, there goes another one. Anyway, uh, let me. Oh, uh, the Oshawa Generals. Crossover grid. We'll pull the, the other came one. came from there? Nothing. <laughs> well, they're probably something. Blackhawks and Sharks. 18 Niemi. We'll turn on unlimited guess. For a random guess. Niemi? Yeah, 18 Niemi. The goalie. There he is. There he is. Blues and Sharks. I should not be drawing a blank. Wait a minute. There's someone obvious. Wait a minute. Blues and Sharks. There's got to be somebody. There's someone obvious. I'm just not thinking of it. I feel really stupid. Me too. <laughs> I feel like these two have like always like made trades in the past. Oh jeez. Chat. Help us out. Blues and sharks. That's what it looks like. Oh, I gotta get that guy. Terrasenko. Terrasenko never played for the sharks. sharks. What about? That was a. Hmm. Man, uh, okay. We, need, we, we no. can move on to the right, we'll next come back. one. Sharks and one goal in the Stanley Cup final. Do I Jonas say Donskoy. Donskoy, yeah. Scored the game winner in game three, baby. Jonas Donskoy, shout out. Chicago and Dallas. Oh, I could have done the Emmy for this one, too. What about, oh, Marty Turco. Oh, my God. Another flash from the past goal. You, you and Marty Turco. What do you mean? He was a 2012 <laughs> Bruins legend. <laughs> My point exactly, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I have a fun one for Blue Stars. Jason Arnott. Oh, Jason Arnott. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm pretty confident yeah. he played on the Blues. Good. Stars. We have, we have a limited guesses mode on, so. Stars and Stanley Cup final. All right, who scored in the 2020 final? Oh, uh, I could just come up with one who from 99, probably. Brett Hall. Or 2000, <laughs> Brett Hall, yeah. The, 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 it don't matter if the skate was in the crease or not. Hasek was so out of position. Yeah. It don't matter. Blackhawks in a hundred penalty minute season. All right, so Dustin who, Bufflin. <laughs> I have no idea, but that might actually. It's an unlimited guesses mode. So there's no harm, no foul in <laughs> guessing that. Oh, oh my god! On there. <laughs> Dustin Bufflin. That's sick. Blues a hundred penalty minute season. New Boston Bruin Patrick Maroon. I was gonna say Reeves, but Maroon works too, probably. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, just he's just Pat Maroon now. Oh, change his name. They don't even have a picture for him. What a loser. Here's uh, no, I'm kidding. He's a Bruin. What I, am no, I kidding? No, what do you mean? No, he's gonna be replaced with Brazo when the playoffs come around, and that does not make uh, me happy. Uh, 100 penalty minute season, one goal in the Stanley Cup final. Uh, Gregory Campbell. I'm sure he did it with the Bruins, didn't he? Not 100 penalty minutes, probably not. <laughs> Gregory Campbell. I mean. I was thinking more like Chris no? Pronger or something. Oh, Pronger. Oh, no. That might be a good one. Yeah. yeah. Blues what, Sharks. What the hell is this, this one? This one is pissing me <laughs> off. <laughs> no way, <laughs> bro. Chat this... came up with nothing for that, by the oh, way. Nothing. Oh, no. Sharks and Blues? What the heck? Uh... Mm. Wow. Wow. Why am I thinking it's a defenseman and I'm blanking on him? I can't believe it. Unless I'm thinking of a goaltender. I'm not sure. We'll come back. We'll come back. Second to period's that. about second to start. About to Chat, start. y'all were useless for that. Anyway, uh, second period's about to start. Calling him out. What a heel. I'm a heel. Ladies and gentlemen. Boomy. me. <laughs> yeah, I love that wild game from last year. <laughs> that was great as well. I want to hear booze. <laughs> Who is that? 
Who is that? No, who, no, who is that in the booth? So somebody from the Bruins Foundation. Phone hit the floor. Phone hit the floor. Oh, Bob Sweeney. Oh, Bob Sweeney. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Harrison. Don't you hate this guy? Ooh. Okay. He for does. Those, <laughs> for those that, uh, well. well I, I wouldn't say I hate him. It's just more of my brother. Oh, Mike Hoffman. Oh, oh. my God. I forgot he. It like, was Mike Hoffman. Yeah, no. No. He plays with the Sharks right now. That's bullshit. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> Bro, I forgot my coffin. Like, oh, Thomas Grice. The there it is. Oh, yeah. yeah, Thomas Grice. That's the goalie I was thinking of. It had to have been. Yeah, it was Thomas Grice. Bruins going from right to left in their home black jerseys. Senators in the road whites going from right, from left to right. The second period is underway. Bruins up 2 nothing on Ottawa. Goals from David Pasternak, both of them. And uh, we are underway. Batherson against Lindholm behind the Bruins net. Lindholm gets checked down by Brady Kachuk. Gets the puck. Centers it in front for Pinto. He can't get it. Here is Jake Sanderson. Kachuk in front off Pinto and wide. Carlo now. Trying to get it out to center. Charlie Coyle to Brad Marchand. He'll flip in the zone. If he scored his 400th like that, I would have laughed my ass off. <laughs> I would have laughed it's so him. hard. Oh, my God. Off a floater. Bernard Docker. Puck goes off of... Um, a the stick of Matt Jones. Wait, what? what? They call that icing went against off the, the side of the net. It, no, not even that's not a matter. I thought it went off uh, Greg's skate. Uh, uh, Centennial charity bags on sale on March 19th. Hey there, that's March 19th today. Go to bostonbruins.com slash charity bags. They're advertising. Somebody's you, gonna by ask the way, to in the comments that. why I don't like. I am not. Games. I am being paid by the NHL to tell you that. Here is <laughs> sure. <someone>. San <laughs> uh, Sanderson dumps it in the zone. Joseph, yeah. Chat, make sure to hold off on a goal until it, until I say it happens. Just just a heads up. Thank you. Uh, Zaka for Pasternak whips it up and off of uh, Joseph Heinen dumps it in. Heinen against Chikrin. Heinen throwing Chikrin off the puck. Heinen's complaining for a penalty, but he didn't get one. Giroux puck goes off Pasternak. He gets it back, chips it out to center. Matt Joseph flips in the zone. Andrew Peak with it. Peak dropping it for Grizzlick now. Here is Grizzlick. Harrison's still booing Bob Sweeney's He's talking name. talking about how he helped out children, asshole. <laughs> Andrew. <Wow. laughs> Shabbat against Bolquist here. There's a story here, damn it. Here's Brazo losing the puck there. Puck comes out. He was in the boardroom when we were... Uh... Yeah, he was. Yeah, he Here's was. a chance That's for funny. a stop. Chuck Penalty coming. It's going to be on the Bruins here. Ottawa to the power play first for the first the time night. tonight. Yeah. Awesome bro and penalty. What? <laughs> Two minutes for slashing is the call. It's going to be on Johnny Beecher. Why is it that every NHL game I go to, I can't hear the damn referees like Mike? It's like unheard of. Oh, I can hear it whenever I, I go to a game. Sam, I did always you hear, hear it well when we were... I heard it decently. Nah, it just It's wasn't... a... For, well, I like to say for Beecher, that, son, for that son of a beach. That's what I like to say about Beecher. Hey, I just said... Oh, you said that? Oh. I, I said that for way before I even know you. Does he like going I'm not going to uh, lie. A sh what? Does he like going to the beach? I would hope so. Ah. Puck played back to the line. Spelled differently. I was about Sanderson. to make a terrible... Kachuk save. Rebound. Batherson in front is knocked away. I was about to make a terrible Starships reference, but Please I will don't. not do that. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. Beach. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here's Jacob Chikrin to the front. This is wider than that. Nicki Minaj, if you're watching. Uh, Hi. Don't copyright us, Here's please. Here's Sanderson. <laughs> uh, Sanderson for Stutzla. In front. Oh. Batherson loses it. Carlo Poke checks him. Here is Sanderson for Stutzla. Pe people who are asking, yes, it was a pa it was a penalty on Beecher. It was a clear slash. Kachuk back to Sanderson. Center point. Stutzla in the left circle. He loses it. He keeps it, though. Wow, that's actually crazy. He lost it but got it back real quick. Jacob Chikrin with space. Chikrin for Kachuk working the bumper in the slot. 
Now he works his way to the right side, and wow, what a keep by Sanderson. He barely kept that in. Batherson. What a power play. Yeah, this is interesting. They have done they have done a lot, but also nothing at the same time. Here is Sanderson, a bomb, and it goes. It hit off the back wall what? and it whoa what is going on here Coyle gonna go for the gonna go for a penalty saved by Olmark on Kachuk we have a penalty on on Coyle it was a clear trip and where it's five on go? three the where yeah where the hell did the puck go it like teleported it'll be five on three for thirty seven seconds. I was like, Jack isn't yelling like he did against the Blue Jackets all those years ago. Well, I don't what know if it went out of play. Let's see, did he trip him? Okay, there's that. Okay, there's a chance for Batherson. Great, great chance in front. Okay, is this the? And then it hit the crossbar and bounced all the way back out to the blue line. That's crazy. Holy shit, that's a oh, that's a nice rocket. dive, Tim Stutzla. Great job. You average one dive a game. You absolute one hit wonder of a bum. I think Brett Chops would like to enter the room and talk to you. German bum. <laughs> German bum. He was a German export. He was out of the draft. He was absolutely terrible out of the draft. He was drafted way too high. And now he plays for a bum-ass team known as the Ottawa Senators. Bro so is going I don't, I don't like Tim Stutzler. He got overpaid after the draft. He got $8.5 million to dive. Get that dude an Oscar. He, ha, you got stopped, you moron. Good save, Omar. <laughs> There's Chicker. I don't like him. Here's Stutzla. I Bro, don't Bro like Stutzla. Bro is doing his best Pat Chikrin. McAfee impression. Bum Here's ass. Batherson. <laughs> Chikrin. Save. Rebound in front. It's knocked away. It would Chikrin. be delicious karma. Stutzla. <laughs> I'd clearance. shut up. Here's Giroux. Chikrin a bomb. Saved by Omar again. Stutzla back to Chikrin. In front of Kachuk. It goes wide. Andrew Peak. Back to the line. <laughs> here's Brady. Here's a Claude Giroux. Batherson fires, misses the net. It's back to five on four. The Bruins get Beecher back. They're not going to clear the puck. Ottawa does a really good job of possessing the puck in the power play. Giroux across Chikrin. Wow, I don't even know what that was. Here's Chikrin now. <laughs> here's Batherson for for Chikrin. Batherson again, misses wide. The, Bru the Senators have had seven shots in this power play, by the way, Jesus jackasses. Christ. Here's Kachuk now. Across, there's nobody there. The Give Bruins Omar can't get the hazard pay for this garbage. Here's Stutzla now. Giroux. And across, and oh, what a save by Another Omar save. on Batherson. He's playing insane. Giroux for ah, Chikrin. Chikrin with 40 seconds to go in the power play. Nice. Chikrin to the front. Olmark, a glove save. Nine saves on this power play for Olmark. And Omar. we get a whistle, and that is important for this Bruins team. Good Lord. Get the stoppage. Go on. Get the face off. Get a line change. Sorry I went on that tangent about Tim Stutzla. I just never liked him. I always <laughs> thought he was completely overrated. He was drafted way too high. He's an overpaid bum of ice for a garbage franchise. <laughs> Bro, sounds like me. <laughs> talking, talking to Titans fans about Will Levis. <laughs> <laughs> well, they the Bruins will have face up. They're gonna clear it. <laughs> yes. Lindholm with a 200 Woo! foot clear. Oh my God. Most excited <laughs> I've been since Pashnak's second goal. Uh, wah, wah. Here's Sanderson. 20 seconds to go on the power play for Ottawa. Oh my God, I've lost uh. brain cells. Claude Giroux now <laughs> for Shabbat. Hey, Stutzel's not on the ice. Thank God. Here's Lindholm. If he scored, I would have lost my shit. Here is that, that, that's Kynan be running clears joke. the zone. And somehow we escape that power play. Please. I think we're gonna kill it off. We got about two more seconds and one. They get Coil back, back to even strength. The Bruins penalty kill comes through. Wow, that was impressive. <clears throat> Posture knock. All marks hazard pay for that. One. Coil, nice feed, has DeBrus to the front. Coil for DeBrus, kick oh! save. That puck's still free. Corpusalo knocks it away. Great what a play by, by Coil and DeBrus there. That was wow. great. Great what a... try. I think if Coil hit DeBrus a split second later, that one's going in. As the Bruins ice the puck. Best scoring attempt this period by My far. goodness. Ugh. As they go to, as they're, uh, not in commercial break, but they're back up in the booth talking to Bob Sweeney. Thank you to the car wash slash elevator fanatic for the sub. What? 
Thank you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what a Ju game. We wow. say Judgment Free Zone here, but uh, that's an interesting Great. username. <laughs> Geeky wins the draw. You gonna get up? Yeah, don't move. Don't, you won't have don't to move. move. Puck comes in the middle to Brusque. Off Geeky it sticking been out of the zone. If I just moved. <laughs> Would have been. Good job. Yeah, shoes are over there. Good job, Stove. That was really smart, wasn't it? <laughs> Here's a stop check to the front. Olmark knocking it away. See, it's much better to have people. To Brusque for Postrock. Yeah, see, this is why I missed having people in the room because I can just say ra stupid garbage I, I i've been busy i've been wanting to i've yeah. just been busy and i just realized if you um you stay next oh, week you get Posteron, the out, skinny. yeah i know posturonk here losing and it he peak went, dumps it in he really goes backwards on that one yeah well run's gonna change here is kelly he dumps in andrew peak for charlie mcavoy playing it around justin brazo McAvoy getting the puck. He'll break it out to center. Nice feed to, to Boquist. He lifts in. Lauko in on the forecheck against Chikrin. Took a weird bounce. Boquist trying to dig it free. This is what the fourth line was a month ago. Boquist, nice stick lift for the Bruins. Regained a possession in the neutral zone. Brazo can't cross the line. As Brazo scoops it in. Here is Corpusalo for Chikrin. Mark Kostelik. Coyle lifts his stick. Coyle knocked down. Lauko, Chikrin can't get it and can't play it cleanly. Coil for DeBrusque. Marshawn out there now. DeBrusque with it. We're on Marshawn watch. Here is Bernard Docker. He gets a, gets a double pick on Coil and Marshawn as he dumps in the zone. It smells like something burning. Is it not? <laughs> I don't smell no, like anything. The it's one of the, also one of the Senators at the dumpster fire. Oh, here's Drake Patterson to the front. I smelled the 2018 Senators when their rebuild began. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't smell nothing. It smells like it smells. It smells like something burning, or it smells like bread or like toast yeah. or something. You smell it? Okay, good. I'm, at least, I'm glad I'm not going crazy. I'm not smelling. What anything. the hell is Lance cooking next door? <laughs> oh my God! Zaka up and out. Pasternak with it. Uh, the Rock would like a word. Well, if you smell the rocks cooking, Heinen trying uh, to play the post rock in front. Zaka bouncing around <laughs> down there. Here is Heinen behind the net. That's like a weird bounce to the front. Heinen tied up there by Zub. Zaka digging it free. Zaka now. Posternock saved by Corpus Salo. Heinen with it. Back to Posternock looking for his hat trick. Heinen, nice rotation. Heinen oh, shot got blocked by Batherson. Would have been a Grizzly. Zaka behind the net. Back to the line, McAvoy. Postrock loading up a one-timer. In front, tip by Heinen, knocked down. He gets the puck back. Heinen with it. Good rotation by the top line here. Here is McAvoy in the corner. Behind the net. Postrock trying to whip it in front for Zaka. It got knocked down. Zaka keeping it alive. Bruins getting a good time in the zone here. Zaka back to Grizzlick. McAvoy is ready for a one-timer. Into Postrock in the circle. He's trying to keep the puck. He can't. Heinen lifting three sticks. Can't get there as... Zaka is going for a change. Geeky comes on. The Bruins can't hold it in as it's cleared. No icing. <laughs> Grizzlick took a weird bounce. Kachuk. Giroux saved by Olmark on Claude Giroux's chance. Stutzler for Giroux again. Another Whoa. save by Olmark. Puck took a weird bounce. Morgan Geeky flips it out. Yes, he I has, agree, Jack. Jack. He yes. has stood on his head. Peak takes a weird bump into the boards. Geeky trying to get it out. Giroux holding in. Here is, oh no, Stutzla. Oh. Grizzly. Oh, whiffed. Brandstrom. Olmark. What a club save. Oh my God. Olmark is playing out of his mind right now. Oh, that, Holy moly. That. That that's the save of the game right there, and it ain't, it, it is not gonna get topped. My God, what a glove save! That was bonkers. What a <laughs> save! Wow. Defenseman wide open at the slot goes for the wrist shot, and Olmark flashes the leather. Brandstrom ripped it. Olmark made an absolutely unreal glove save. Is that Martin Rodor? Is that Linus Olmark? I can't tell. My uh, God! In this game, what's the difference? The Ooh. shots on goal, 12-4 Ottawa yeah. in the second period. That was That's nasty. a problem. 
That's a problem. 12 to 4 shots on goal in favor of Ottawa. However, Olmark, this guy, what a freaking save Thank by him. Thank you for declining all those trades. Thank you for not <laughs> waiving your no move clause. Thank you. Or your no trade clause, anyway. Olmark has been very good the last few starts. Ever since Harrison and I went to the Penguins game, Olmark has been on his head. He has been standing on his head. The Montreal game, he was insane. The Pittsburgh game, he was bonkers. Tonight, that was easily his best save he's made all season. Wow. They'd have a five on three, so that's a party. That's that's, that's part this of is why their I shots. Love yeah. Having a great goalie tandem. I agree. Because no matter who's in, you ain't gonna stress out. Not too much. Besides so swimming, allowing five goals in his last two starts. But we don't talk about that. Swayman will play Thursday against the Rangers. That's to be a big test for Swayman. Oh, God. He's he struggled gives... against St. Louis and Philadelphia, so they play. he plays the Rangers Thursday night, 7 o'clock right here. That might be the biggest game of the entire season. In fact, up to this point, they're playing a really good Rangers team. Well, that, that, that game's going to be for the one seed for the moment. Pro it's probably going to be. Unless Bruins that save on lose, Rangers somehow lose tonight, and then the Panthers This save right here. Wing streak. Oh, my God. I mean. Oh! Ooh. Oh my lord. <clears throat> Call the Boston police. We have a robbery to file. Hey, uh Hey, it's Pierre Dor oh, no, he doesn't work for them anymore. Hey, what's his name? The new Senators coach. I don't know. Oh yeah. It was DJ hey, Smith. No, Eric Brandstrom. Uh, Eric Brandstrom calling Boston Police Department 911 with a report of robbery at the T D Garden. Uh Linus Olmark just robbed me of a goal. Thank you. Appreciate it. Beecher will take the draw against Ostopchuk. Beecher wins it again. We've been talking about Beecher's face-off wins. It's a huge part to the, to the process. you got to have face-off people. Beecher... I didn't follow Allmark on Twitter. That's changing. <laughs> oh, I don't follow a lot of Bruins players on well, Twitter. I follow them all I'm on Instagram. I'm trying to retweet the save, but yeah. no one's posted it Here yet. is McAvoy <laughs> in for Beecher behind the net. Beecher, we've been talking about his face-off wins all night. Grizzlick shot tipped wide. McAvoy... For Bolquist at the line. Grizzlick left side. For Brazzo in front. Trying to tuck it home. Saved by Corpusalo. He'll hang on. What a play by Brazzo. What a skilled move. And Beecher took a whack at uh, Dominic Kubalik, who was somebody the Bruins were looking at at the deadline. So. I'm fine with Brazzo staying up in the uh, NHL. I, I, he hasn't he scored brings since some the size. Dallas game, right? Yeah, he, he scored one still... against the Blues, but it got taken oh, away due to an offside. Blues, but... It was taken away due to an offside. He so. really has been solid, and he yep. brings that tough guy presence. Yep. Dare I say, he's been the perfect replacement for Lucic so far. I'd say so, yeah. He's been good. Keep him up here. Uh, we need a fourth line and so enforcer. Unfortunately, I don't know when the playoffs come around and Patrick Maroon's going to be healthy. They may go for the veteran over the rookie, but... Yeah, Lindholm shot saved by Corpus Sala. I don't know, Brazo's right now earning a roster spot, at least a guaranteed spot for next year. Oh, Brazo? Yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. He's earned his way on. He's got to have a good preseason, and he'll be fine. Um, I wonder if it's... Good. It's it's three guys battling for one spot on the left D pair. Because I think Shattenkirk's going to play in the playoffs. It's Lowry, Watherspoon, and Peak battling for a third roster spot in the defense, I think, is what's going on right now. I think you got to give Lowry the full-time minutes. I, yeah, but, I guess it's Watherspoon, I think. Here is oh, McAvoy, Watherspoon. shot knocked down. Lindholm to Marshawn. Trying to get it to McAvoy, pass intercepted. No. Oh, oh, pass Marshawn oh, and Pinto. Oh, my, get back in your net, you goofball. There we oh, go. Marshawn moves it ahead. He'll chip it to Jake DeBrusque. Or Omar almost turned it over. Or just get or just get an assist on a goal. I mean, yeah. whatever floats your Marshawn boat. Marshawn <laughs> back, McAvoy. The assist is no, the assist would, would be Nolan Boyd for for Debr uh, for Olmark at this point. Marshawn oh, yeah. plays it back, Mac, past McAvoy all the way out. Um, the the fourth line is gonna be interesting too. Are they gonna do Maroon Beecher Brazo in the fourth line? That's bonkers. Get Locko out of here. Yes. Bold. Sorry. Bold. <laughs> Okay, so what's your wrong, what's your problem with Locko? Boquist, Geeky, Frederick on the third line. That would be all right. So a weird bounce. Posternock tied up there by Kostelik. He gets it free. Posternock wrap around in front. He got knocked down. Here comes Parker Kelly. Boris Kachuk for Kelly. Shot knocked down. Whoa! Major what? collision. Peak and Kostelik crash into the net. And now Kostelik wants a piece of Peak. And Shattenkirk just not gonna let that happen. Jeez. 
Well, we've seen the last couple of games, Swayman hasn't been afraid to get a little aggressive. Will we see that out of Allmark tonight? No, I don't think this was Allmark's fault. If Allmark got crashed into by an Ottawa guy, then yeah, but the net came off, so. Yeah, no, it definitely wasn't, but. It was a big collision between uh, Kostelik and Peak crashing that. Oh, man. Kostelik wiped out, and then he wanted a piece of Peak after that, and Shattenkirk said, no, you want to get to him, you got to go through me first. Ooh. They're gonna call peak for tripping for that. It's so. I'm hearing the faint. Yeah. Put her fingernail. On. She went. <laughs> Ottawa has another power play. It's interference on Andrew Peak. They're gonna go to commercial ah, break. Okay, I guess I won't really argue that one. So I have an update on Pat Maroon. Montgomery has not ruled it out to play next week. Just checking. Mr. Pendleton there. Wonder how that conversation with uh, Jack Edwards went. I'm sure it wasn't pleasant. Of all the people, really. So. Apparently, Edwards was the one to apologize, and Maroon just didn't want to accept it. So I wonder how that say, went. Say, say that as you will, but... Bruins drama, ladies and gentlemen. To be fair, if I was insulting... Jack that, Edwards, the locker room cancer. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That'd be crazy. The announcer? No way. No way. I was pretty sure guys like Marshawn and like Pasternak probably like respect uh, Edwards. Since they've been with him for so long. Damn. They're gonna call Shattenkirk for interference? That should be peak in the box, no? Yeah. I feel like in that situation, it should be a four on four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, they call it peak for it. <laughs> Peekaboo. In the box now. Roddy Rich. Oh. That's why I said you should. It, it is such a good song. I'm oh sorry. It's God. a good song. No, it's not. Anyway. Uh. Montgomery's getting an explanation from the referees about that call. Bruins win the draw. Lindholm will push it up the ice. He'll find Coyle. Offensive, a shorthanded break for the Bruins here. Sanderson pressured. Marshawn takes it away. Marshawn's the best on the ice when it comes to four, when it comes to penalty killing. Marshawn has the most shorthanded goals in Bruins history by a lot. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Didn't he score like four or five in like 2020, like one alone or yeah. something? Eh. What are your thoughts on jalapeno chips? Uh, I don't like jalapenos. So what are your thoughts on my? What do you think my thoughts are on jalapeno chips? <laughs> Marshawn clears. We love that second intermission with a random Q and A. That'd be fun. We can do it. Go around the room, answer some random questions. I like it. Sanderson for Chikrin. Bruins still up two nothing here in the second. Here is Batherson. Batherson with it. Sanderson now, center point. Brady Kachuk. Stutzla, Chikrin. His shot was gloved right down by Omar. I thought that went out of play. Yeah. Omar gloved it down. Wow. The concentration is unreal. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. What? This has really been a Linus Allmark game. It really has been. Good. Yeah. He needs this, too. He's been playing well. Face off one by Giroux against Beecher, but they're going to wave Giroux out. Again, it's a must win with the next five opponents on your schedule who are all holding playoff spots. You gotta win this one. Senators win the draw. Shabbat for Pinto. For Giroux, has Kubalik in front. Pass broken up by Jake DeBrusque. He lifts his stick. Puck comes back to the line. Shabbat holding in. Here is Brandstrom. Shabbat. 
Claude Giroux. Shabbat with space. Giroux right circle. Shabbat fires. Got knocked down. Omar may have got a piece of that. Here is Giroux. Shabbat center point. Giroux right side. Here is Pinto. He scores. That squirm right through. Mm, the shutout ends on that. That stinks. That squeaked through. Huh? Yeah. Uh, nothing's playing off my phone right now. So Ottawa did score. Do you want my goal horn? No. Just my phone's just not cooperating. Two to one. Ottawa scores. Shane Pinto. There it is. There it is. <laughs> did the best I could. My speaker's still turning off all of a sudden. I played it. You played it. Woo! Bad at 11. Woo! Is, it, is this on loop? No. Oh. Right. Geeky against uh, Costellic here at center ice. The Ottawa Senators have had a really good second period, and the Bruins have kind of taken a back seat here, and they're up 2-1. to one. As they normally do in the second. We have another, oh. another penalty on the Bruins here. It's going to be on Trent Frederick. Four. They're going to send Matt Joseph there as well. Four on four. It's, it's going to be four on four. Get out of the box, boys. Why are you playing so undisciplined all of a sudden? All right. No, one more box joke. I'm going to lose it. Two minutes for roughing, four on four. It's uh, Joseph and Frederick to the box. Oh, Frederick fun. wanted to go, and then Joseph gave him a shot, and the referees were like, nope, you're not going to get a fight. Because the referees are boring. Yeah, well, referees. There is no animation because it's a four on four. Yeah, well. <laughs> Again, what are we gonna do? How about that? Mm. Postrock will take the draw. Zaka got kicked out. Postrock wins the faceoff, and they're gonna wave him out. Oh come on! Zaka got waved out. That's a penalty against the Bruins here. What? Zaka and Postrock both got waved out. That's a penalty against the Bruins. That's gonna be a delay of game. No. They're going to do it again against they did it wrong. Huh? And then Giroux wins the draw. Referee screwed us over. Confirmed. They have Ottawa winning. Confirmed. <clears throat> Here is Chikrin for Stutzla. An interesting thing to assume the outcome of a game off of. <laughs> Zaka now what? Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here is McAvoy now. Yeah, my speaker is at 10%. It's going to die, certainly. Just charge it. I can't charge it. I have nowhere to, I have nowhere to charge it right now. I don't have an outlet. I don't have a, a plug to plug it into. Oh. Here is Zaka. Thank you, Random Spray. Here is Pasternak. McAvoy. Here is Pasternak. A wrister got knocked down. I have no plug to plug it into. Here is Pasternak with it. I'll continue to point at my thing. And I have no. I have no like oh, block. Oh, got you. Gotcha. Yeah, it's you, no, it's a U.S. I have a no. Postrock the drop-off well, pass like given a up by Ottawa. Yeah. Okay. Here is Shabbat You're to right. the front. Oh, God. Omar, great oh, my save. God, that, 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 why are place. sticks flying everywhere? Lindholm's stick got knocked out of his hands. Sticks just go flying everywhere for some reason. Oh, I could plug it into my laptop. You're right, I can. Wait a minute. <gasps> Well, it's going to take power from your computer. Though. I'm charging. Is it? Yes. Well, is it going to take power from your computer, though? I can't see it. Hold on. Oh, I can't see it. It doesn't fit. Wait, what? It doesn't fit. Damn it. Want me to go get my block? No, you're not going to go all the way back to Joe. To, to Joe. To, where are you? your old MacBook charger. I have it still. Yeah, you've got it. But I use a few years for the same system. Hold on. Just bring over here. 
me see if this goes into this. Grant, well, you should entertain stream and tell about your floor hockey career recently. How's your floor hockey career going, Grant? <laughs> My floor hockey career, the freaking... 15 goals I allowed on, like, 40 shots. My save percentage was probably, like, an 865 if I'm being generous. Yeah, I can't plug it into that one. I'm going to have to plug it into this one. Just plug it in over there. Keegan was the better of the two tendies. Yeah? Put it that way. I wasn't awful for not being goalie for eight years, but... I can't pull four goals in this game. There goes that. Bruh. Oh, my God. Hi, I'm helping out the cause. We're back from commercial break. Sorry, the second period's been kind of a, a pain. Sorry about that. It likes a fold in. I don't know why. That's the old, that's there the we go. Boom. Is Never it charging mind. now? Should be uh, now, right? Okay. Give me a minute. It's Boom. All right, now it's charging. There it is. We got it. Here we go. Here, I'll just do this. There we go. Leave it there for now. Oh. And Brandstrom to the front got knocked down. Allmark will hang on to that one. Are you still connected? Cool. There's some extra stuff after the whistle. Coil and Pinto tied up. Yeah. Kachuk was mixing it up with somebody, too. Kachuk was shoving at Hampus Lindholm, and then Carlo and Coyle said no, and then Lindholm gave him a shot three on one against Kachuk. Well, I wonder why. <laughs> nice top hat, so from my head, by the way. A, a cap. Okay. We're back here, Zaka. Zaka will take the draw against <laughs> Shane Pinto. Zaka did not get kicked out. In fact, they won the draw. How does one get kicked out? Um, by doing it face off incorrectly. McAvoy back to Lindholm. Four on four for 30 more seconds. Lindholm now drops it. Pasternak going around Kachuk, around Pinto, keeping it. Trying to play it back to McAvoy. He took a weird bounce and Shabbat grabs it. 15 seconds to go on the four-on-four. Four. Joseph and Frederick out of the box. They were chirping at each other during the commercial break, so I'm sure they're probably going to have some words after this. Here is Kachuk trying to spring Branstrom in front, and good chance there as Branstrom got cut off there by Lindholm as he backtracked. Nice, so Nice job. So drew this of me, chat. Oh, that's Grant. Yes. Oh, no, that is Grant. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I didn't see the purple shirt. Grant's got the darker hair. I gave him I approve. All right, we're back now. Face off one back. Back to five on five. What a kick save, Olmark. That took a couple of weird bounces to the front. A shot by Stutzla. Misses wide. Shocker. Here is Claude Giroux. Playing it around. Sanderson. Stutzla turns around, fires, and Olmark makes a save as Giroux got drilled down by Grizzlick. You know, the Bruins lose this. It's not Olmark's fault. No. Not at all. They're not getting, he's not getting any help from his offense right now. Defense has been okay, hit or miss. You know, yeah. Back, shots back. are 20 to 6 this period in favor of the Senators, by the way. The Senators have 20 shots in the second period. That is a problem. I don't care what anybody says. That's an issue that needs to be fixed in the third period. Grizzlick up ice off Marshawn and out. Puck deflects back into the Bruins' end. It was deflected across the red line, so it's not icing. Grizzlick to Brusk back to Carlo. Grizzlick still getting up. Here is DeBrusque. He'll move it ahead. Drops it for Coyle, but nobody is there. Co uh, there, DeBrusque. Oh, no. Stutzla has Giroux. Stutzla misses wide. Stutzla keeping it alive, playing it over. Batherson, Chikrin, kick save by Olmark again. Marshawn. Grizzlick back in his own end. If that power play. Doesn't matter. Still 20 shots of 20 shots there at it. There, exotic. That's still bad. 10 will take. 20. Jesus. 21 now. 
Grizzlick up ice. Off Heinen in the zone. Bernard Docker for Batherson. Frederick can't dig it free from Drake Batherson. Chikrin now. Bernard Docker. This has been a get to know the Ottawa Senators roster here in the second period kind of a game so far. Shattenkirk for Heinen. Trying to get it out. He really has. Heinen will get it up to center. Trying to spring Frederick. He gets it to him. Chikrin takes it right off Frederick's stick like it was nothing. Heinen. One on four, getting bullied, no call. Chikrin bumps Frederick, and they're going to call Chikrin for interference. As they should. Chikrin drilled Frederick from behind, and they didn't. And they finally called something against and the Senators. Chikrin is yelling at the officials for a blatant penalty committed. Damn. And we're off to the power play. I guess the new thing is people just want ding dong ditch us. Ding dong ditch us because we're live on the internet. Congratulations, you're making an ass out of yourself. Bingo. Here is Coyle, Zaka, Marshawn with Pasternak and McAvoy. The Senators have the third worst penalty third. kill in the NHL. Third, no, third worst. Here is Marshawn. Wow. Wow. Coyle, Marshawn across in front trying to get it. He can't get it to Pasternak. Coyle, Marshawn fanning on it. McAvoy keeps it alive. Pasternak. Gotta get to 400. McAvoy looking. Pasternak looking for a hat trick. Mac Marshawn looking for 400. McAvoy. Pasternak save. Across. Marshawn's got it. In the far corner. McAvoy with it. Marshawn in the far corner. Works his way to the circle. Zaka again. Zaka and Marshawn swap. Zaka out high. Marshawn now. Good rotation. Marshawn with it. Pasternak near the front. Marshawn shooting. It's a, it's a hard pass to Pasternak. I thought it was a shot. Pasternak across for Marshawn again. Bruins keeping the puck. Marshawn keeps it against Giroux. Zaka trying to whip it across. Nobody there. Here is McAvoy with it. Marshawn ready for a one-timer. McAvoy, Marshawn looking. Zaka in front. Digs it free. He was going to get a stoppage, but instead they couldn't. And they should have taken a stoppage because Ottawa clears. Too many, too much passing already. They have, a, they need to have a shot first power mentality on the power play. Oh boy, Bruins almost had too many men right there. That was at least seven guys in the ice. Oh boy, that was bad, McAvoy. You got to hang on to it for two seconds. Olmark for Pasternak, Jake DeBrus second unit on. DeBrus with it. Cross the line, good entry. DeBrus keeps it against Joseph. Back to Shattenkirk. Geeky has a run timer on the left side. Shattenkirk, look with it. Fires, save, rebound, they score! Justin Brazzo on the power play, and the Bruins lead 3-1. to one. There you go, Justin Brazzo, that one is going to count for him. The last one he scored was, he got screwed out of it. And he might be getting screwed out of this one too. They're, They're not going to count it. Ottawa does not choose the challenge. It was offside, but Ottawa chooses not the challenge. So it's a goal. Yeah, that's right. More teams should take, should take initiative. If a play happens 20 seconds before that was incorrect, who cares? You could have still stopped it. Doesn't matter. Lindholm out of the zone. They need to change that rule, by the way, I about agree. the offsides rule. They got to change that because that is not okay. Here's Carlo to Lindholm. Sam for commissioner. Yeah. Yes. Speaking of rule changes, we'll talk about that during the second period. The NHL pitched a bunch of new rule changes today. Oh, oh. Oh, we gotta hear this and one. some of them are pretty good as the puck goes out of play with 40 seconds to go in the period. So Brazil will get his second goal of the season. Some of them good, some bad? I liked most of them. So okay. Most of them make sense. That was Def Offside's glass. They didn't review it. Yeah, glad that uh, the Senators chose not to challenge. 
So, Brazo, in three seasons with the Providence Bruins, had 50 goals and 64 assists for them for 114 points. 113, sorry, because he technically had 49, but you know what? That's okay. Beecher against uh, Pinto. Beecher wins the draw. Surprise. Here's Hampus Lindholm. Lindholm now. Carlo dumps in. Beecher in on the forecheck. He's first to the puck. He'll play it around past Heinen and Boquist. Carlo Heinen in the slot shot. Knocked down. Took a weird Whoa. bounce in front. Boquist hops on with 15 <laughs> seconds. That puck was sitting there. Lindholm <laughs> shot. Knocked Corpus down. Corpusel's giving up a handful of rebounds here. Juicy Bruins rebounds. Get, Bruins got to get in front of the net. Kachuk, Batherson, Chikrin. Shot, save, Olmark, scramble in front. A good save, Olmark, Kachuk well, scores. With two seconds left. With 2.3 to kidding? go. Oh my God. We were just talking about juicy rebounds, right? Olmark gave one up. Right in front. Getting so not oh, oh he looked at the pad when he shouldn't have. The your club is right there, Linus. No. Oh, he missed it. Carlo couldn't play. Uh, Chuck Hatch was in. Well, that, oh. well, that Omar's fault a little bit. A little bit. Carlo could have done a better job, too. Wow, that is. Well, their momentum was gone until it wasn't. The second period comes to a close. I've never been so mad to hear more in my life because I love the song, but like, bruh, I don't want to hear it right now. <laughs> wow. That was awful. Way to freaking make Ottawa believe again. Yeah, well. <laughs> Kachuk's 31st from Chikrin and Batherson on the assists on that. Yikes, indeed. 3-2 Bruins through two. At least the Bruins are still winning. That's the main thing. But yeah, but... You wanted to have a two-goal lead. Right now, no, really. We're playing Ottawa, and I'm not feeling convinced. That's a problem. All right, let's talk about rule changes, because they made a couple of good ones today. Let's have a chat. All right. Um, here we go. Proposed rule changes coming out of the GM meetings in Florida this week. They need to go through the competition committee and the board of governors for approval. The first rule, adding adding the goalie to list of players who can get a penalty for intentionally dislodging the net would result in delay of game penalty. So pretty much what that means, if the goalie goes, screw this, and pushes the net off, you can't do that anymore. Who did that? Lundquist did it. The guy you're wearing on the back of your shirt has done it multiple times. Tuka Rask did it. Carey Price did it. Tim Thomas did it. Yep. Uh... Luongo definitely. Luongo did. did it. Corey Schneider did it in the Stanley Cup final. It was really <laughs> funny. Um, let's see. Uh, I've done it. Ch Darcy Kemper's done it. <laughs> Darcy Kemper. Andre Vasilevsky's done it. Carter Hart did it before. Well, anyway. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It's a Fortnite ad on the NHL. Anyway. Um. So yeah. Uh, the rule, mm. the the rule would be if the goalie intentionally pushes off the 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 pushes the net off, it would be a two minute delay well, of game well, penalty. Didn't it used to be an automatic penalty shot though? Wasn't that a rule? No. Or was it a rule in the AHL? Yeah. Matt Murray did it. Yep, Matt he Murray. is famous for it. All right, next one. This is not really a rule change. It's like a difference on a face off after an icing. The rule is right now that the defensive zone center gets a warning for a violation but the offensive center gets tossed immediately out of the faceoff. There is an ask by commissioner by, by GMs for an offensive center to get a warning as well. So let's say, for example, the Bruins ice the puck. Or, yeah, the Bruins ice the puck, and they're stuck with the fourth line out there. Beecher's going to take the draw against, let's see, Ottawa. Uh, Shane Pinto, right? Beecher... Gets an gets a gets a uh, a warning before he gets kicked out of the draw. Hey, don't do that. Pinto gets amount automatic automatically tossed. I don't like that. I think Pinto should get a warning as well. Yes, I agree. If a goalie is pulled by concussion spotter or injury, replacement the replacement backup goalie will get a warm up. That makes sense. Yeah. 
Gets a, a quick, like, two to three minute warm up. That makes that sense was, to me. I agree. Uh, in the back room. Yeah. Okay. If a goalie loses his mask and play is blown dead, the o- other team gets an offensive zone draw with choice of dot no matter where the puck is on the ice. So let's say uh, oh Jonas Corposalo for the Senators loses his mask. His mask has to come off. Uh, there is an issue with the equipment, right? The Bruins get to choose which offensive zone face-off circle they get to they get to get the face-off from, regardless where of if the puck's in the in their own zone, the neutral zone, or in their offensive zone. I they like get that to rule. they get I to got, choose. I got nothing against that one. That's a good rule. These are good, by the way. If you can thank my mom. Yeah. New coaches challenge. Thank you, Mama Smith. <laughs> if a penalty is called for puck over glass. They can ask for a video review to prove it did it was it was deflected before going over the glass. What? Just leave it the way how it is right now. That's just That's what I think. Wait, so you're saying that if a puck is deflected out of the play, but the referee for ruled it delay oh, of game. Oh, never mind, never mind. Then, and it was off a tip. Then, yeah. Oh, never mind. Nah. You or if it nicks the glass, it. you it can touch the glass and go out of play. That's not delay of game. It has to clear the glass. Okay. Right. Another yeah, one. You could. You could do uh, that. This is only for when a penalty is called, so you can't say, "Hey, that was delay of game. Review that." No. You say you got. You can only say, "Hey, that wasn't delay of game. Review that." Okay. If you are wrong on the challenge, you are charged an extra two minute delay of game penalty. So it would be a five on three instead if you lose the penalty. If you lose the challenge. That's the risk. Ooh, there's another I one. I love that there, rule. There's another one that has uh, like the same that. rules apply. Same for a minor penalty for high sticking. Can challenge the show it was a teammate stick or own stick or no stick. Again, five on three if wrong. Previously had to be a minimum four minute penalty for review. If a player refuses to play the puck off high stick or hand pass, the non-offending team will get a face-off one zone better than where the play occurs. So if the if the puck was touched in their neutral zone, the face-off will be in the offensive zone. If the puck is touched in the defensive zone, it will be in the neutral zone. That's I got, fair. I got nothing wrong with that. That's a good that, that's a good change. Um no changes to 3 on 3 overtime. Good. No, not good. There needs to be a shot clock or a center line rule. Players are coming out of their zones in and out. It's not fun. Some talk about moving to the ECHL seven-minute overtime rule, but no momentum came of it. No talks on a shot clock. NHL GMs, you failed. Um, the overtime rule. I love the idea of three-on-three. Three. It makes the game more exciting. However... There is something that needs to change. You can't be constantly leaving the zone. There has to be a, like, in the NBA, right? Mm-hmm. Half court rule. You can't go back with the ball and pass half court. That's a half court violation. There has to be something like that in the NHL, too. No, you can't that's just, fair. You that's can't fair. just go back whenever you want because the because the play isn't setting up the way you want. No, you got to work through it. You can't just swerve out. I could see why they didn't want to change anything, but I also get where you're coming from 100%. Um, apparently, the Panthers GM pitched the idea that there needs to be a shot clock to keep things exciting in overtime. 30-second shot clock. If a shot does not hit the goalpost or the goalie or in the net, buzzer sounds, face off in the neutral zone. That would keep things exciting. I think that would be. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Mm-hmm. If they don't do the center zone rule, do the, do the thirty second shot clock rule with possession. If you lose possession, the clock, of course, the clock resets. But I, they need to do something because overtime, man, is getting so elongated for no reason. It doesn't need to be four minutes. Like you saw the Bruins the other night against Montreal. That took twenty five seconds. They, they got the puck in the, in the Bruins' end. They dug it free. Two on one the other way. They scored. 25 seconds. We've seen overtimes go five minutes with no shots on goal. Why? Keep things exciting. Overtime's supposed to be the most exciting five minutes in sports. And instead, 
it's the most lame five minutes in sports now. Because players are just going in and out of the zone. They weren't doing it as much in the four-on-four four back when before they adopted the three-on-three three rule like they had in the ECHL and the AHL. The minute they brought in the four, the three-on-three, three, players were going in and out of the zone like it was nothing. Can't be happening anymore, man. That can't be happening. We got to do something about that. It's you're right, exactly. It's not exciting when the team holds it for four to five minutes. Right. Doesn't make sense, man. One immediate change that was approved today. Players will not be able to have the leg have their legs over the bench and or in play while not on the ice. Warning, then a bench miner repeated. That So you you can't put your feet up, pretty much. Surprised it wasn't. Yeah, no. There was a recent skate cut to an official. That's why it's coming now. Some a a, 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 a referee got a skate cut so in the back. Like... <laughs> pretty much. So that makes sense. That's a, that's a given. I'm surprised that wasn't a rule before. Come on, NHL, really? What? Do I have any Dayquil? Why do you need some? It would probably be better if you have Nyquil. <laughs> it's nine o'clock at night. Think about it. Considering it is like eight forty p.m. Nine o'clock now. Nine o'clock, right on the button. Eight fifty-seven. Here's an idea you won't like. Don't play overtime in regular season. Call the game a tie. No. Oh, abso. What are we back in the eighties? Eight. No, eighties. It was overtime. You just went to a tie oh. after overtime. What are we, before the overtime days? No. No, 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 no. No, and I'm still on board with you have a shootout. I'm sorry. Or you have continuous overtime. Whatever the case may be, but you do not, do not have ties anymore. That is the worst rule in all of sports. Soccer and football do it the worst. Football, especially, because there's, there's only, like, one tie a year. It and shouldn't that one be. tie screws up the entire playoff picture. <laughs> I remember, what was it, week one, not last year, but the year before, two years, two seasons ago, I think it was steelers Bengals, and they, tie, they tied week yeah. one. Right, or something like that? Something like, like that. Why? No why? need for it. No need for it. It should be it. continuous overtime. I also disagree with that. I disagree with that. Well... I don't like the shootouts. What else would it be? Probably a continuous tie then, a continuous overtime then, right? Or we'll at just least have continuous five minute periods. Or make it ten, overtime. or make it ten minute overtime, and then a shootout because we won't have as many over, we won't have as many shootouts. We get too many shootouts now. Please do not make a league. Oh my God, is that an AJ Lee reference? No, uh, please do not make it legal again. The two line pass. I'm deleting every comment. That's not a quote from a host. I guess you don't follow European soccer. I don't. Nobody squawks about ties. Because ties have points in there. I don't like the ties because I want to see a winner and I want to see a loser. I don't want to see a tie. I don't want to see both teams. It's like the pity point, right? Why are teams getting points for losing an overtime or a shootout? You know? mm -hmm. Which is why which teams play for points. Which is why I think the NHL soon should adopt the PWHL uh, rules of the, the Professional Women's Hockey League's points rules. Hmm. Three, two, one, zero rules. <laughs> Three for a regulation win. Two for an overtime or shootout win. One for a regular for overtime or shootout loss. No points for regulation loss. So you add in an extra point if you win in regulation. Hmm. You lose a point because you couldn't finish in 60 minutes. I mean, it's not a horrendous rule. I mean, you'd have teams getting 130 points a year. I get that. But at the same time, it's like... People sit with the puck for 30 seconds, content with the content with the overtime, though they have the pity point, when they can get two more points, they score the next 30 seconds instead of one more point. That's the rule the IAHF has. Yeah, they should do that in the NHL too. As far as the NHL hasn't sound, adapted that this yet. This might sound a little silly, but I was kind of telling Sin this earlier before we went on stream. Goalie commits a penalty. They go to the box. You get the backup. <laughs> no, you get the backup tendy off the bench, and he is in goal until that power play is over. Then obviously you, you could do the switch. If Omar commits a penalty in this third period, Swayman should play up until the stoppage after the power play expires. I, I'm on board with that. 
Why should a forward or a defenseman be in the box when a goalie commits a penalty? <laughs> that's just a random thing I got. I think that's funny. I, I think it's hysterical, but I also think it, it, it the rule makes sense. I said an even better one. <laughs> there should be an empty net for two minutes. <laughs> well, that's a little too stupid. Uh -huh. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, get the backup Tenny in there for two minutes. What the heck? Yeah. Uh, that's funny. Oops. Hashtag RD. Third period. Oh, the goalies, they used to serve their own penalties in the 30s. Oh, well. Well, obviously, if the backup tendy allows a goal, the power play's over, so you could just put your starter back in. I mean, obviously, if they score. No biggie. Oh, I got a couple of I like that ideas. Good, good. Then, oh, yeah, give up shutouts due to being in the penalty box. Yeah, but. Again, goalie uh, takes the penalty. You got to take that risk. They can score as many times as they can. All right, that's really dumb. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can't have an empty net. On but... top of that, they should get rid of the last two expansion teams. Why? What? Get rid of Vegas and Seattle? That's a sl you, What you meant to say was you could get rid of the Coyotes and uh, I don't know who else is irrelevant. Yeah. Blue Jackets. Yeah, and the Blue Jackets. Sorry, so DJ. Sorry, I DJ. <laughs> I, I know you're not watching, but please. Please. Ken Johnson can be a lead elsewhere. <laughs> the Bruins. Ah, yeah. No. Expansion team for everyone. <laughs> we we get Clayton Keller would finally be a Bruin. <laughs> He's clamoring for that for so long. Yeah, well, he is a Massachusetts kid after all, so I kind of want him. Get rid of the Golden Knights and the Kraken. Nah, they've made the NHL Come so on. much money. Why? Come on. No shot. Seattle just got a Winter Classic and Vegas just won their cup after constant playoff appearances. No way. Want to discuss If the team fails to score on a penalty shot, they still get a power play. No. No. <laughs> no. No, unfortunately. If, if, if. A penalty shot is called. The penalty shot is called. There is no penalty. It is a penalty shot. Whatever happens, happens. Can we kick a puck? No. What? I, no. What? What is what? it? Soccer? Kicking formation? I mean, that's been a rule no, for forever. Like, if it's like... Like if it hits off the skate or something. Well, they already count that. If the puck like accidentally bounces off the skate and it's not a clear kicking it's a, motion. If it's not a it's distinct They're going to count the goal. But if it's a clear <laughs> kicking motion, that's when they don't count the goal. Like here, here are my legs. If it bounces off the right, if it bounces off the skate and if it like, if I don't like move it to be, have it to be a deflection, if it literally just goes boom off my skate and then goal. But if I go boom, kick it, can't do that. It, well, it is a long intermission. Uh, it's past 9 o'clock. Usually we are in the third period by now. Oh, there's 30 seconds to go in the intermission. Beautiful. Oh. I think the NHL should have the jailbreak rule from the oh, PWHL. Yeah. Right. If the sh if it's a shorthanded goal, the penalty ends. So let's say the Bruins score with 30 seconds to go on their penalty kill. The penalty's over. I, no, that's fine. I, I'm fine with that. Did I have pasta for dinner? I did not, actually. I had pizza. I'm reading that. Yeah. Sorry, I just looked over. Sounds good. Ah, he wants us both down there. Sounds good. All right. Hey, at least he's giving us till the end of the game, though. That's third cool. period about to start. Bruins lead the Senators three two. Two goals for Pasternak, and oddly oh, enough, Justin know. Brazzo with the goal there. The other Bruins goal, Senators goals. Um, Shane Pinto and Brady Kachuk. Here we go. Let's play some hockey. 20 more minutes. What did I say? My third key to the game? Don't blow the lead in the third period, please. Yeah, well, they're in the process of doing so. Don't lose your breath. Oh, well, we'll find out. Bruins are going to be going from left to right in the home black jerseys. Senators in the road whites from right to left.
Will the Bruins score another power play goal tonight? 61% of viewers say no. I should do this predict the game. And you just... should. Maybe. I mean, hey, if I get, like, free tickets to a game or something, if I get something. Like I think that, the prize is a signed Pavel Zaka Bruins jersey. Why not? Why not? Bruins will go from the left to the right. Senators from right to left. Coyle against Shane Pinto. I don't think there'll be another power play goal for you this side. No. Right Here now, we go. I guess we can do final score predictions, but I got 4-3 Bruins right now in regulation. Bruins win the draw to start the third period. Senators get it. Claude Giroux. That's uh, Drake Batherson, I'm sorry. For Sanderson across the Bruins line. Brady Kachuk. He fires, and he's stopped by Olmark, and he fights it off, and it goes out of play. Marshan is on the bench, and he is hunched over. Let's see what happened here. He kind of bumped into the wall awkwardly. Went down his left knee. Looks like that could be their lower. Oh, hit him right in the... He banged his foot or his leg into the wall, yeah, so... It looked like it was going to be a leg or a hip injury. Uh-oh. Hip, please, no. no. He came back from double hip surgery last, two, last year. Uh, I'm assuming it's leg, though. So he bumped his leg into the wall. Hopefully, that's not... Hopefully, there's nothing uh, serious to that. Pasternak takes it away from Zub. Pasternak has two goals tonight. He centers it for Zaka. Nobody there. Here is Sanderson. You're getting mercifully outshot still. 29 to Ugh. 17 Senators. The Senators period. had 24 shots on goal in the second period. Pasternak fires and it's good save. Rebound. Zaka Whoa. can't get the rebound. Good chance there. Have the Bruins adhere to the first two keys. Shots? No. Face-offs? Yes. They have won a good amount of face-offs tonight thanks to Johnny Beecher. And surprisingly enough to Pavel Zaka. That spit. Pavel Zaka's won a good amount of face-offs. Grizzlick to Frederick. McAvoy with it. Over to Grizzlick. Grizzlick dumps it in the zone. <laughs> no, we need, no, we need the walrus from the commercial. Lanko. Duncan. Back to peak. Right point putting it in. Try, at least he tried to. Joseph knocked it down. He gets the puck back from Giroux. He dumps in. Delayed offside. Stutzlo is it, jumped, to, jumped the gun a little bit. Played up Geeky. Frederick walks in. He keeps possession. Frederick back. Shattenkirk. Frederick now. To the front. Tip by Beecher. It just goes over the net. Chikrin for Kubalik. For Ridley Gregg. Ostopchuk for Bernard Docker. Putting it behind the net. Kubalik with it. Back to Chikrin. Shot trickling. Knocked down by Peak. Shattenkirk against Ostopchuk. He gets outbodied by Ostopchuk. Ridley Gregg behind the net. Works it back to the center point. Kubalik now. Over to Bernard Docker. He works back at the left point. Brazo pressuring him. Gregg against Beecher. Brazo, good take. And he'll carry it to center. He's one on three. He'll chip in. Right in on Corpusalo. That will be a shot on goal for Brazo. Corpusalo gets his stick knocked away by Brazo. I like it a little. Bernard Docker. Dumps in, and it goes up into the netting. Up and out of play. Yeah, there's Marshawn. So he didn't even miss a shift. So that's good. Marshawn is not seriously hurt. Thank goodness. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. So, are you okay? okay. They're going to change lines. Yeah, they got Geeky, to get center, I guess. Geeky, Locko, and Frederick. Uh, the shot, the, it was dumped in from center ice. That's why. Makes sense. Frederick wins the draw against Kostelik. Grizzlick now backs off, deflecting, deflecting off of Frederick in the zone. Sanderson. Nice check. Nice keep in by McAvoy. To the front for Geeky. He whiffed it. Grizzlick's bomb is blocked. Bruins will try to keep it in. They can't. McAvoy will regain possession for the Bruins, but it comes out to center. Frederick backskating. Over to McAvoy. He'll get around Kachuk. Here is Lauko. Two on five. Has Frederick and Geeky. Lauko getting around a check. Lauko for Geeky. Trying to play it back to Lindholm, and he couldn't. Off a of bounce. 
Matheson against Lauko. Here is Jake Sanderson for Artem Zub. Sanderson with it. He'll play it up. Yeah, you predicting Marshy's 400th coming up here? All right. Lindholm, here he is. Marshawn dumps in off of Shabbat. Sanderson with it. He'll dump in. Sanderson's played a lot of minutes for Ottawa tonight. I'll say that right now. He's played a lot. Omar over Lindholm to Marshawn. Has DeBrusque and Coyle. Here he is. Coyle across the line. Keeping it. Coyle drops it. Lindholm's shot misses wide of the net. Carlo keeping in. That was fun all season for him. Yeah, it has been. He's only scored one. It was on the power play against the Islanders, I think. No, Buffalo. Buffalo. Back in November. Here is Shabbat shot missing the net. Lindholm for Zaka. Pasternak has a break. He has Heinen with him. Pasternak getting around Branstrom. Heinen takes it, shoots it, hits the post. Zaka now. Heinen. Shattenkirk. Pasternak behind the net. In front. Shattenkirk closes. In front for Zaka. Good effort. Pasternak backhand. He scores. That is a hat trick for David Pasternak. And the Bruins lead 4-2. Here come the Chapeaux! <laughs> that was a sensational backhand shot. <laughs> that was nasty. Yep. 17th career hat trick. Not too shabby. Well, it's 4-2. I'd be crying! And what's with the Bruins costume? There's I have a, a hat. Costume. I have a beanie. Guess what I do? Uh, Chuck so, it! Hey, Posse, you want the Florida Marlins? There you go. You get the Marlins. I chucked it over my head. It landed on the ground next to Harrison. <laughs> uh, Posse not getting a hat trick on a scoop. He scooped it home. Wow. That was great. Grizzly got the tip to, got a tip from Pasternak. Pasternak banks it in, in the first in the to get his second one and then this third one, this wacky backhand. <laughs> Corpusalo never saw it. Nope. <laughs> Ugh. So look at all the hats. That's Pasternak's 345th goal. He passes Bruins president and alternate governor Cam Neely for seventh all-time wow. in team history. He's already seventh. Wow. What? Pasternak might have the most of all time by the end of his career. I he's, think so. He's still got half of a career to go. Oh, there, <laughs> there he is. Sorry, Cam. He is not smiling. <laughs> Sorry, Cam. <laughs> That's Pasternak's 44th from Kevin Shattenkirk on the assist on that. At 443 of the third is 44th of the season. Man, 44 goals already, man. That's crazy. Yeah, he's still on pace to get well, about 55 or 60. Yeah, you mean he got what? Was it 62 last year? Uh, 61. 61? Yep, he yeah, got 61 this season. About, he's on pace to probably get like 55, 58. Hey, that's still really good. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not complaining. I yeah. love the 50-goal uh, seasons. Rack him up. Mm -hmm. Ovechkin made a killing off that. Yeah. Pasternak trying to do the same thing. So, Beecher wins the draw at center, but the Senators get possession off a referee bounce. So Pasternak, his 17th career regular season hat trick. Beecher for Bolquist now. Back to Shattenkirk. I mean, Soph said it in the first period. <clears throat> she said that Pasternak was on Hattie Watch at the second one. Uh oh, here's Jesper Bolquist. He scores! Yes! Jesper Bolquist! What a move! And it's 5 2. All right, now the second goal for Ottawa no don't matter. Jesper Bolquist has been heating up recently. I'm fine with jinxing it. There ain't no way this game is now. This game is I'm being honest. Nope, I'm. Very rarely do I jinx this one. I'm confident. 
What a pass by Johnny Beecher to Jesper Bolquist. Oh man, that was great. Back-to-back -back shifts with goals. Jesper Bolquist cashes in. If you're on one, I don't even know if you consider calling a timeout. That's two goals in 25 seconds. The barn door has been blown open. You mean the Zamboni door that won't shut? That too. That too. <laughs> you could you could use whatever terminology you want. As I was saying before, Bolquist uh, politely interrupted us. So called in the first period. After so, after Pasta scored the second goal, he, she goes, Patrick watch? And guess what? He gets a hat trick, so. There you go. And then Bolquist getting one right after, so. Here is uh, Hampus Lindholm trying to get it out. He will. Brad Marchand has Coyle and DeBrus with a Marchand across. Jake DeBrusque drops it. Carlos shot. That puck's in front. Oh, Corpusalo hangs three on. Shifts, three Too goals would have been awesome. Uh, <laughs> but Kirk, oh, well, now we're getting greedy. <laughs> Shattenkirk got two assists in 25 seconds. He got an assist on the Pasternak goal and an assist on the Boquist goal. That's pretty impressive, to be honest. It is. Ooh, ooh, this is exciting. I'll bet Pasta could score the butt end of a stick. Well... <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> what a great setup for Carlo. If Carlo buried that, I was going to pop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's like three goals in like 45 seconds if he did that. Bruins get it back. Peak shot knocked down. He gets it back. Another chance on that. Trickling in oh, front. Boy. And it got knocked away there by Sanderson. When was the last time Pasta scored four? Was uh, it against Anaheim? Yeah, I think like it was. In 2019 or whatever? His he geek stumps it in. It's just a four-goal game. Took a, a weird garden <laughs> stanchion bounce in front. Loco had no idea where that was. But Geeky and Frederick you did. You just stumbled <laughs> over your game. entire vocabulary. I sure did. Loco, gotta know what I just saw. Loco pass Frederick. I just... <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> Frederick is tackled by Mark Kostelik. <laughs> I just went... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. The other garden <laughs> stanchion bounce. Oh, Zaka for Grizzlick. Oh my God, Zaka across the line, trying to find Pasternak, looking for his fourth. Come he on, has it. Pasternak, get four, baby. Pasternak <laughs> closed off by Branstrom. Zaka keeping the puck back to Pasternak. He keeps it. Fires it on the net. Got knocked down there by Branstrom. Zaka keeps the puck. Whips it to Heinen, who couldn't play it as Stutzla took it away. Pasternak almost clipped Stutzla. That would have been funny. Here is... <laughs> That's a goal score, Ottawa. Yeah. Here's Zaka for Pasternak. Looking for a hat trick. It got poked away by Corpusalo. Mac or four, sorry. Here is McAvoy. That would have been four. Here is Zaka. He already got the hat trick. I'm dumb. Pasternak with it. I'm laughing my ass off too hard right now. Here's Pasternak around to Grizzlick. McAvoy looking. A keeps it alive against Stutzla. McAvoy in around that. This is the second time these five have had a long shift in the offensive zone. Pasternak in front. Zaka off his skate. He fell over. He almost had a goal there. That would have been a gorgeous pass by Pasternak. McAvoy is tackled. Heinen knocks down Giroux. <laughs> the referees like, ain't calling a damn thing. They're not calling There's anything. There's penalties left, right, and center, <laughs> and they ain't calling anything. This is a clusterfuck. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> referees, stop the freaking play every Here's once in a while. Lindholm for Beecher. He dumps <laughs> in. God. Christ. <laughs> Call a penalty. <laughs> this is the second goal for the fourth line tonight, by the way. Brazo got one on the second, and then Boquist got one here in the third, so. What is this game? This is, this is dumb. Dumb. <laughs> yeah. well, Bernard Docker nothing for... Nothing short of dumb. We've been through the Bruins Senators games last year, which were also dumb. 7-5. Yeah, oh, first was, week of the season. What was it? Lindholm tripping over the net. Jesus. Kachuk hit... Speaking of, he hit Lindholm right in the back of that shot. Coyle almost got decked by Kachuk, but Coyle gave him a cold shoulder. It looked like Batterson... Kachuk left his skates. That would have been a penalty. Would have been. Contact. Pento shot saved sw by Olmark, and he hangs on. Oh, God. 
<laughs> this game's so stupid. <laughs> oh, there's a bear costume. Hey, there's a bear costume. Somebody, who, why did you chuck it? Oh why did you God. chuck it? Duncan, and she's drinking a Dunkin' Donuts in the middle of a hockey game. That is weird. <laughs> That is illegal activities. <laughs> Just for the record. <laughs> Hope you guys are entertained right now. Oh, well, oh. Especially now that it's a 5-2 game in the third. We could get a little loosey-goosey now. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that was good. That was uh, <laughs> stumbling over my words as the puck bounced right in front of that. Blah, 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 blah. This is how we normally are off camera, by, by the way. By the way, this is a little inside <laughs> this is, peek. This is, this is exactly how we are off camera, too. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We're talking about it now instead of after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> laughing our asses off of the hockey. <laughs> We laugh almost every night at something stupid going on in the NHL. Oh, yeah. Like, a couple nights ago, we were laughing at the Bruins for uh, back. We were watching Sabres Bruins highlights from 2010. We were laughing about the Bruins' uh, pronunciation of Miro Shatan. They were calling him Miro Shatan. Yeah. Uh, well. Thank you, Pasha Shatan. We were, we were making fun of John Forsling last night. Oh, Forsling, yeah. John Forsling. I was like, I'm watching we the were Sabres watching feed. Sabres cracking, and we're like... <laughs> Oh, I, I listen to Forslin too frequently during the playoffs. I'm going to put on the Sabres broadcasters. We're and, you also... Know, in my terrible Forslin voice, I was like... They score! They score! And uh, that's a penalty on the Bruins, but they're not going to call it! <laughs> also, oh, dear. Uh, another thing, person we made fun of... Uh, and we like him here, but we just kind of made fun of him because he was kind of like irrelevant during the 2010 run. Vladimir Saboka! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we like Saboka here, but... Blues legend, Vladimir Saboka. Uh. And don't get us going on that Bruins Sharks game in San Jose when Jack Edwards was screwing up every pronunciation in the book. <laughs> Kakan, anyway. <laughs> the only one he pronounced right was Declare, Anthony he Declare. Grizzly... Oh shit, something's playing on my, my speaker. It's really confused. Here's Grizzly. For Lauko. Morgan Duncan Geeky. Spike drink. That'd be dope as hell. Lauko into Frederick goes past him and Sanderson. Kubali copping on it. Shots are 30 to 22 Ottawa. So it's not as bad anymore. It was, it's still bad, but it's still not as bad. Not as bad when you're scoring. Ugh. Geeky gets it in past Kostelik. Artem Zub cuts him off. It's an interesting last name. Zub. I mentioned that earlier. Zoob. Weirdest, weirdest name on the team. Zoob. No. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's not. It's not Zoob. It's a stop chuck. <laughs> <laughs> we were making fun of his name before. Before going stream. On. <laughs> before stream, we were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. But then I looked it up on the pronunciation guy how to pronounce it. It's a stop chuck. Trust me, I looked it up. The internet <laughs> must be right. Here is here is Parker Kelly. Allegedly. <laughs> well, the NHL pronunciation guide said it, so it must be true. Beecher will get it up. He, I think he might have threw it into the bench. He literally took the puck and gloved it and went, boom, right into the bench. Is there a replay on this one? <laughs> I would love Bro to see honoring one. the arrival of Drake Mayer, Jaden Daniels. <laughs> Ooh, the next quarterback. Uh, Woo! My goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Look at the league standings. Yeah, I know, I know the Rangers were losing last few check, but it does look like the Bruins will be heading into Thursday. And as Winnipeg the is seat. beating the Rangers three to one in the third period right now. That is that's nuts. massive for the that Bruins, by the way. Crazy. That's, that's massive. massive for Winnipeg too, because of course they're in a three-way tie with Colorado and Dallas. And the Stars are not playing tonight. Neither the Avalanche. So oh, the Avalanche, sorry, they're losing to the Blues right now in the second period. So if the Jets win, and the Avalanche <laughs> lose. <laughs> The Dallas, the, the, the Winnipeg Jets are going to have sole possession of first place in the Central Division because it's a three-way tie for second for first place. Winnipeg, Dallas, and Colorado all have 91 points. The Central Division is going to be a fun finish 
with less than a month to go in the regular and season. You still got oh. Nashville in a wild card spot. Nashville's still tell, there. Tell the audience the TikTok I sent you. <laughs> oh, it was the Eastern Conference wild card uh, race for the second <laughs> wild card spot. The Sabers, the Red Wings, the Capitals, and uh, the Islanders the were involved. Islanders. And you could um, throw the Devils and Penguins in there too if you really wanted yeah. to. It was a four-way stop, and everybody's like, "No, you go, you go, you go, you go," because they're always swapping out. There's like three different wild card spots in the past two days. So and they're all just so they're mid. They're, they're just, horrible. They're, they're you look mid. at the Eastern Conference. Everyone outside of Toronto is garbage. Like anyone past Toronto, garbo. I know. I didn't listen. You can't sleep on Tampa Bay, and I know they're gonna have sole possession of the first wild card spot by a lot. But they are not convincing this year. I don't Quill know. for Marchand through the legs. This has been a great broadcast. Sure it has. Jake DeBrusque. <clears throat> Where has he been? He's been good tonight. He's been awesome. Coil deadline. Well, you know, oh. Lindholm got bumped into oh, by yes. Brady Kachuk. Coil. Yes. For Brandon Carlo. Carlo to the front tip by DeBrus, saved by Corpusala. There, I said his name twice in the same sentence. Carlo got That was to the twirl right there. And it looks like we might, Nesson might go to commercial. And we do. They Nesson go to commercial did. break. But we won't. But we won't. Because we aren't lame. I'm going to get a tissue. My nose is getting super stuffy. We... I'm still battling a cold, by the way, uh... Jeff. I'm still trying to make this at least somewhat entertaining. Yeah, we ain't saying that. a comment on that, Kevin. I don't want to say anything. Oh, what he, oh, what he does, oh. Yeah, how about June? a certain thing in June that yeah. we shall not talk about until at least the playoffs? Let me put tissues in here somewhere. Well, you could just use one of my... I have a million napkins right there. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> use one of my napkins. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the ASMR. Uh. Oh. <laughs> free entertainment. Hey, you know what? I'm doing this for free. Well, not really. I'm getting paid to do this. You're getting paid, but... Anyway. I'm getting over my cold. Be good by tomorrow or Thursday. I haven't been sick all winter. Well, Don't screw me over. <laughs> We're in spring now. It's my favorite time of the year. I agree. Oh, Sam's just blowing his nose off camera. Don't worry. He'll be back, Will. Don't worry. Do we play NHL like the video game? I don't have Xbox Live, so I can't really play with Y'all can play against me. Ugh. Me and Harrison was a damn good like one on one matchup though. Like if you wanted to see like a great like three no, to two never... game. Oh yeah. Yeah we did, and it was an awesome game too. You won two to one, I think. Ugh. Sorry. Looks like the Blue Jackets are gonna pick up a big win on the Red Wings. Three to two, it looks like. Ten seconds to go on that one, so we'll Detroit's see. frauds. Bro, imagine being Patrick Kane, low key. <laughs> <laughs> Getting Get traded to the Rangers, losing the first round, signed with Detroit, recovering from an injury, and you don't even make the playoffs. That's brutal. That's insane. That is rotten luck. I think you were on the rebuilding Blackhawks for a couple years prior. Mm. Shattenkirk plays it in behind the net. When was the last time Patrick Kane won a playoff series? 2016? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Here is Jacob Chick right out to center. He jumps in. We know 2020 if we're counting the bubble. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, yeah, they did. Geeky then, for Pasternak. Good organized. pass. Has Zaka to his left. Pasternak to the middle. Gets tied up. He keeps it alive and puts it into Zaka, who got bumped by Zub off the puck. Let's wish you early happy birthday to... Oh, Bobby Orr's birthday is tomorrow? Happy birthday, Bobby Orr. Grizzlick's <laughs> bomb saved by Corpus Salo. Happy uh. birthday to... Arguably one of the greatest hockey players of all time. <laughs> Bubble doesn't count. But yes, but in the statistics, it does. So. Oh, I'm an idiot. The Blue Jackets, I just jinxed it. The Red Wings tied with <gasps> 10 seconds to go. Are you kidding? Lucas Raymond. Yes, fantasy points. I'll take it. <laughs> From Patrick uh, Kane and Shane Gossespair. Oh, uh, oh, it's Shane Gossespair. You want to talk about washed. Mm. Shane Gossespair's in the uh. dictionary. <laughs> Frederick wins the draw. 
and they're gonna call it back as Frederick kicked out. They're gonna have Heinen take it. Yeah, Devils, I know. Uh, you're beating me because my goalies stink. Devils win, leading the Penguins five on five to one. What happened to Pittsburgh? They, they like the minute they trade against all, they've shit the bed ever since, and well, I'm not really good. sure why. Good. Re they need a rebuild. Yeah. Badly, they've needed to start rebuilding back in like 20, like 19. They're gonna waste Crosby so and Malkin's long. career for the rest of it. So. Well, they won what three rings apiece? I don't think they're bitching. Yeah. And they get paid pretty well. <clears throat> Stutzla, shot saved by Olmark. That was the funniest moment. Why am I going off about him? Yes. Yeah. Lauko. You should go say that to Brett. He would Here laugh. is Heinen. Yeah, no one's ready. He'll get a chuckle. He would. Goes, gets like, knocked down. so wrong. <laughs> I'm not, though. That's the <laughs> You're thing. You're not, but he would think so. Because he's a Senators fan. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Well, offside against... Senators, Sabres, Golden Knights... And Bruins fan. And Bruins fan. So he's just, opinion... he's just a Tage Thompson-like... Oh, Pittsburgh scores its 5-2. <laughs> Brian Rust. Uh, I'm shocked they didn't trade him at the during the fire sale. The Rangers have pulled the goalie. Jets up 3-1 to one with three minutes to go on that one. Ugh. Flyers lead the Maple Leaf 4-2 in the third. Yeah, my parlay screwed. Thanks, Toronto. Uh, Hurricanes it, lead buddy. the Islanders 3-1 in the third. Let's see. I, did, I picked Bruins, uh, Maple Leafs, Avalanche, and one other team as part of my parlay tonight. Doesn't you have an amazing like commentary voice. Thank you. Leafs suck. Here is Eric Brandstrom as the Sharks and Preds are tied at two in the second. That's a game that Nashville should win by a lot. <laughs> that their tied is kind of since kind of uh, stupid. Here is Carlo around for Lindholm as Marshawn and DeBrusque and Coil up ahead. He scoops it ahead, trying to get it to DeBrusque. He couldn't. Goes off to Brusque. Skate. Brandstrom grabs it for Ottawa. <clears throat> Here is Shane Pinto. Coil takes Good it away, steal. and he'll flip it back down. This is how you play de defense right here. Corpusalo playing it away. You have a lead with eight, with about seven and a half left. Now you start playing the defensive hockey. You don't do that at the start of the third period. You do it now. When you're up by multiple goals, you keep it that way. Right? Shattenkirk over to peak. Don't make me eat my words, please. Here is Jesper Bolquist. This team really puts you on the edge of your shoes. Here is Dominic no Kubalik over to Chikrin. For some reason. Shot, and it goes up and out of play. Got deflected by Beecher. Uh, let's see. Blues lead the Avalanche 3-2 in the second. What the hell's going on there? Um, they go to commercial break? No. Oilers, the Oilers lead the Canadians 1-0 in the first. McDavid scored. Shocker. Wild and Ducks scoreless. Uh, though they haven't started yet. About a half hour from Anaheim. Blackhawks and Kings at 10 from L.A. Sabres and Canucks at 10 from Vancouver. That might be a good game. Lightning Tyler and Golden Myers Knights at 10. Ball. Lightning and Golden Knights at 10 from Vegas. We do not have any finals yet. Blue Jackets and Red Wings are still in overtime in Detroit. <clears throat> Zaka against Kostelik. Zaka wins the draw. Well, I guess that Detroit's getting a point out of it. I guess it wouldn't really hurt if they got another one. But Well, no, because they need points for the playoffs. Yeah. So, no, that wouldn't hurt them at all. <laughs> Here is Kachuk. Pressured there by Shattenkirk. Bernard Docker for Chikrin. A shot missing wide of the net. Parker Kelly. Peak closed off by Kostelik. Pasternak. Zaka, nice keep to Shattenkirk. He'll try to spring Heinen. It goes off a stick. No icing. Heinen beats Chikrin anyway, so it wouldn't have been icing anyway. Pasternak keeping it. Zaka will go for a change. Cause, uh, yeah, he did. What is Jack talking about now? Here's Bernard Docker for Chikrin. <laughs> Heinen takes it away. Has Geeky in the slot. Geeky, his shot just goes over the net. He didn't get a lot on it. Back Chikrin Geekster. for Stutzla. Oh, Toronto got one. Ooh, it's interesting now. It's five. It's four three of the minute twenty four left. John Tavares scoring there as the Bruins I mean, ice I the puck. I mean, I want the Flyers to win, but if the Leafs won because of my parlay, I wouldn't care either. <laughs> and the Rangers just got one. It's three two. Alexei oh, Lafreniere boy. scoring for the Rangers there. The other Rangers goal was Alex Wenberg. Oh, this shot by Geeky on Damn, Saturday. Do the Flyers jerseys look that bad. <laughs> They're bad. Oh God, those are awful. 
And we have a final. The Red Wings win in overtime. 4-3, Patrick Kane, the overtime well, winner. Well, you're welcome, Patrick. You see, I, I used my jinx <clears throat> on Patrick Kane for the night. And you know, that's not a bad thing, I McAvoy guess. McAvoy turns it over. Oh, Giroux oh in front for Stutzla, knocked away by Geeky. Giroux back to Zub. Giroux, his shot knocked down. Here is Sanderson back to Zub at the left point. Shot by Joseph Olmark fights that off. His 30th save of the night as Geeky gets it out to center. <clears throat> Dumped in there by Stutzla as Carlo gives him a cold shoulder. Coyle flips it out. Brandstrom against Marshawn. Brandstrom dropping it for Corpusalo. That was interesting. Final five minutes to go in this one. 5-2 Bruins. Final five. 4 of 150. Final five terrifies me. Here's Shabbat now. He dumps in. If I was going to pull the goalie, it would be right now. So No way. They're, they could use a push right now if they want to get back in this game. Goes off to Bruskin out. This will come all the way back down. Went off a went I also off don't need stick. to see the Bruins not scoring an empty netter. <clears throat> you know, like, so, yeah, we don't fair need enough. that. <laughs> Pinto. We don't need that right now. Cross the line. Poke check there by Lindholm. Jesper Bolquist for Jake Dabruski as Beecher to his right. He finds Beecher. Dabruski at the end of a shift. Beecher with Bolquist. Beecher around Shabbat. He slows up, trying to center it. He can't. To Kachuk, takes it away. Here is Chikrin now. Here is Shabbat. Chikrin. Four minutes left. Senators need three. Bernard Ducker slaps it in around the net. McAvoy, Grizzlick. Brazo trying to put it, it bounced off in our Docker's shoulder. Bolquist, Ridley Gregg taking it away. Puck comes back to Grizzlick. He spins off of Kubalik. Nice move. Three and a half left. Bruins are trying to kill the clock here. This is when you start playing defense now. Defense minded hockey is now because you already had the multi goal lead. Pasternak tied up there by, by Kelly. He still gets it in the zone, which is good. Here is Ostopchuk for Chikrin now. 3.20 to go. Puck is deflected in the zone. Took a weird bounce. Zaka threw Pasternak. It's going to be a nice thing with three minutes to go. NHL's app crashes. That's, fun. That's fantastic. ESPN, what do you got for me? Devils beat the Penguins 5-2. That is a final. New Jersey picking up two points trying to get back in the wild card standings. Um, let's see. Jets are up three to two with twenty seconds to go. And it's a final in Philly. Philly beats the Red the Leafs four three. There's another issue with the glass. Are we kidding me? It's the third one. It's the same spot. God almighty. Oh my god, there's three minutes left. Just tell the players to not um Yeah. I guess. Just tell the players to not like hip check around there. The NHL app stinks, bro. The NHL app sucks. That's why I go to ESPN. I'm going there now. Yep, so Flyers it and Leafs is over. It worked! Look! What is Oh, you missed it. Oh, the like? Hit a like spike. There it is. Yay. What's the other one? What's the confetti one? Oh. Peace sign. Anyway, Bruins will try to get it out. They can't. Zaka can't get it out. Sanderson with it. We should get the confetti effect when they score. Oh. What? No. 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 You know, confetti cannons? What is We're this? We're shooting that down right Kynan. away. Can't get out. Kelly this pressured. Really nice job. And they're going to whistle uh, <laughs> Kelly down here. It's going to be a penalty on the Senators. That's it. That's going to do it. <clears throat> I will say, whenever we play Columbus, you should get like a cannon animation. <laughs> well, that when the Blue would Jack... be cool. I... <clears throat> I will say, I will get, because DJ is going to make our goal graphics for next year. All 32 of them, he said. I'll get the blue. I'll get him to get roll in a cannon and go ba boom, for that. 
Here's a fun fact you only get from Lava. Oh, you have the best ones. Every time a Bruin has scored a hat trick in the 21st century, they've won the game. Their last hat trick loss was, was in February of 1999. I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. 25 years of not losing when your player gets a hat trick. That's pretty impressive. I gotta admit. Well, they won my first ever game. March 5th, 2014. And that, David Krejci got a hattie. And that is it. The Jets got an empty netter for Mark Shifley and beat the Rangers 4-2. That is huge. Or the Jets. <laughs> That's huge. The Avalanche tied it against the uh, the Blues. Miko Ranson and ties it up on a power play goal. Uh, the Preds lead the Sharks 4-2. They got two quick ones from uh, Mike McCarron and Luke Evangelista. Uh, yeah, that's all I know right now. So Jets beat the Rangers. That is massive for the Eastern Conference standings. In regulation, if the Bruins can win, ah, they'll have a three-point lead for the President's Trophy standings, which we don't care about. We don't want that, but it is what it is. They'll have a three-point lead in the league standings. So, And the Hurricanes were beating the Islanders 3-1 to one with 7.45 to go. Avalanche and Blues late in the second, tied at three. Preds in the late in the second, up 4-2 on the Sharks, and the Oilers still lead the Canadians 1-0. Connor McJesus, the only goal of the night. Connor McJesus. At 9-20, it's just 26. straight to the point. <laughs> What? Did I lie? No. Okay. Right. You said you're getting straight to the point. Montreal's going to the power play. Let's see. Interesting. Interesting. What the hell was that? I don't know. Shattenkirk has got three assists tonight. Good for Shattenkirk. That's a hell of a night for him, huh? Jeez. It's a night for Shattenkirk. Back to the The play's already started. Harrison said it was unnecessary to play the intro. Unbelievable. That's what rude. intro? The <laughs> power play thing. Oh, because they're up. Bra I mean... Oh, Brazo's got a break. Brazo saved Geeky oh, fans Geeky. on the rebound. How many times have we done this? Geeky had a had a goal if he had just if he just put Damn any it. contact with the stick to the puck, it would have been six no. two. Uh, we're whining uh, over a goal with four. Debrusque. Oh, the second unit's out there, so it's Frederick Geeky to Brusk with Brazo and Shattenkirk. Here is Geeky now. Jams it to Brazo. Around the net, Jake to Brusk with it. To Brusk, looking. Brazo has a goal tonight. He gets two! Wow. What a goal! That is a powerful move for Justin Brazo. <laughs> it's 6 2. This kid's got scoring touch. I love it. Justin Brazo late in the third. It's a 6 2 Bruins lead. It is a. It is his second power play goal of the night. I guess the power. I guess you were right. It is a. It is a blowout. What a move by Brazo! That is something that not a lot of players can do successfully like that. That's a going. His first career two-goal game in the National Hockey League for Justin Brazzo. And... Ah, well... That's going to put the final nail on the coffin on this one. Again, it didn't need to be close for the first two periods. The Bruins with but... a, with a three-goal third period to help them get the victory tonight against the Senators unless the massive collapse happens in the next oh, minute and a half, which it's not probably God, going to. It. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Here is Jesper Bolquist for Beecher. With a minute 20 left. No empty netters needed tonight. No empty netters needed tonight. Although, I think it's the, the best thing in hockey when there's an empty net, good or bad. My opinion. Most free goal ever. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Kyle nailed it again. <laughs> Here is Eric Brandstrom. As we're now in the final minute of this one, Bruins are going to pick up a huge win before this tough patch of hockey here. Rangers, Flyers, all. All right. Kachuk's upset. He wants a piece of Jacob Lauko. All right. Kachuk's getting mouthy. Here we go. 49 seconds to go. And Brady Kachuk. And his brother's an even bigger twat, but that's a different story for Whoa. a different day. Oh, 
Well, you know what? You know what? Let it go. Uh. Lauko and Kachuk were talking. Lauko stood up. And he was about to open the door. Lauko was going to hop off the Kachuk's ice. Both Kachuk stink. Both Kachuk stink. That's all I'm going to say. Uh. 50 seconds to go in this game. Bruins win the faceoff. Andrew Peak will dump in with 40 seconds to go. It took a weird bounce, almost bounced in. Brazo is out there. Look at you, a double hat trick here. Me? Yep, that was you. Was that my yeah, and your pure leaf. Brazo. Bernard Docker with 25 seconds. Kubelik for Octop. Uh, we have another penalty on Ottawa. Huh? Who do you score? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'll play the thing. Oh, I think it's a blue and power play, isn't it? This would be very awkward if it wasn't. What a save. What look at 31 look at saves for Lee yeah. Allmark. It's an Ottawa power play. I'm oh. an idiot. It's an Ottawa power play. Sam, I'm dumb. Trent Frederick will go to the box here. Frederick's called for a penalty. Oh. Boo! <laughs> Everyone get angry. Beecher and Boquist with Carlo and Peak. Boo! One for three. Tonight. One for three on the power play for Ottawa. 12 shots. Yikes. Yeah, that's not good. Bruins win the draw. Carlo clears and, well. Please end this. Here is Bernard Docker with 20 seconds. I'm going to try to make something happen here, and he won't. They'll dump in. Oh, that took a weird bounce behind Allmark. Carlo will clear it all the way back down. Corpusalo will come out and play. No, he didn't. Boquist has in the final seconds. Batherson closed them off. And Who the hell cares? This game's over. Bruins win. 6-2 your final at TD Garden. Too many shots on goal, but no need to fear when Olmark is here. Linus Olmark 
your second star of the game tonight. He had 30 saves on 32 shots. He was good tonight. And of course, of course, David. Kevin Shattenkirk. No, I'm kidding. Uh, David Posternock, your first star of the game tonight. He had a hat trick, his 17th career hat trick in the regular season. That is bonkers. Bruins pick up a huge win. They play the Rangers on Thursday. <laughs> this should be fun. Oh, this next little stretch of, ho of hockey is going to be interesting for this Bruins, too. <laughs> Only three? No. Omar's two because he made a couple of huge saves in the second period that were much needed. So, that's why. <clears throat> so, that's why uh, Omar is second, in my personal opinion. Either, but even, if you were to put Brazo second, I wouldn't be mad at it. Um, Andrew Peek's been playing, w w was the fifth star. Fourth star would be Kevin Shattenkirk. He had three assists tonight. Shattenkirk looked awesome. He looked really good tonight. Really comfortable, finally, for the first time in a while for him. So, mm -hmm. What is this, Dave Meltzer? Well. 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 Okay. What? All right. I'm heading out. Bye, everybody. See you, Harrison. See We're going to wrap things up here in just a minute. Are you, are you back on? Thursday. Thursday, huh? Bruins and Rangers. Mm -hmm. we got to get Brendan in here. Oh, God. Oh. Is he allowed to come in here? He, I think they're all going to Buffalo Wild Wings. It might be just be you, you and me on Thursday. What? Why not? My class got canceled on Thursday, so yeah, I'll be there. Perfect. See all you right. Thursday. See you then. See you then, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Uh, Grant, we talked about this during the game, before the game. Don't blow leads in the third period. Hey. <laughs> they didn't. They actually played awesome in the third period for the first time in a couple of weeks. It was great. It was I awesome. couldn't believe it. So, good for the Bruins tonight. They pick up a huge win over Ottawa. And it was a beatdown, so... I'm happy about that. And good for Boquist getting that nice goal, too. That was pretty cool. All right. That's going to wrap things up for us. We'll see you on Thursday for Bruins and Rangers. That is going to be a massive, massive game on Thursday night. And they play the Flyers against Saturday. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. See you guys on excuse me, Thursday for Bruins and Rangers. For Grant, Harrison, Kyle, Sophia, and me, have a good night. If you like the stream, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified, join the stream, become an official member of the stream if you want. Follow the social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all down below in the description. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Have a good night. Bruins win, 6-2. Good night.